Hello, welcome to Hydronir, the journey to Volcalidus, the DLC. So yes, today we're going to be back into the map. I've, I don't know how much resources I've got. We're going to have to do something funky. We're going to have to do a little bit of messing around and we're going to have to be all right. Hopefully this is all working now. Because I've basically, I've had to reinstall something to make something else work, which is fine. But then I've got to, I've got to make sure that I can read all of the chats on this one little dock I've added. Now, for some reason, YouTube is being a bit of a pain in the butt like it always is. I don't know, but I don't know what YouTube's problem is right now. Every time I try to do a stream, it doesn't load the stream properly for me to view it. And then I have to sit here and like watch it for a minute and see if it works. And, and now it's working. That's fantastic. It only took like, what, 20 seconds for that to work? That's amazing. Like, well done, YouTube. Congratulations. It's fantastic. Anyways, so I just need to check to see if this works. I'm just going to type in hello. Uh, yeah, there it is. I can see that on there. Can I see it on, ch on Twitch? I can see it. Okay, Twitch actually works a little bit faster on that. That's fantastic. Right, cool. Excellent. So now I've got like dual, I've got dual chats on my screen. I see everything, Jon Snow. It's excellent. Right, fantastic. Let's get into Volcalidus. Basically, we need to do like a really big haul now. We need to get a load more drills going and then we need to work out the puzzle from there. What we're going to do and so on and so forth. Thankfully, yesterday we got our heavy harvester in place and it works. Jason Carter. Uh, <laughs> Jason Carter, thank you very much for kicking by. Uh, Sucky253, two, two, two welcome to being here. Thank you very much. And I actually got my activity feed working as well. So if anybody subscribes on YouTube, I can actually see that now. And if anybody donates, I can see that now. Pretty sure I can see everything that's happened over the last couple of like yeah we're all good I can now see all everything. the The thing that was stopping me was um, I use stream elements as a service to actually be able to like you know see like do bits and pieces for my streams and everything else. And for some reason I'd got rid of stream um, se uh, stream elements is SE which is basically the in in OBS client. So I've I've reinstalled that back in now. I can, now they've added multi chat, so I now have one screen for just YouTube and Twitch chat, which is amazing. And I can see my YouTube notifications. I can see my Twitch notifications. It's all a bit nicer now. Funky rude dude, how you doing, bud? Thank you very much for kicking in. Anyways, let us begin. So we need to like start doing stuff now. Oh, there were I, I on my tip video. I did get a comment on there that said. Uh, there was a patch that went through on Hydronir like yesterday for some obscure reason and it stopped this person using the lava drills into a pan. It's fake information. Nothing like that's been added yet unless it had as it and no one knows. You know, I, but I don't know. So, yeah, it's all good. Right, cool, let's go. What do I need for a drill? I can't remember. My drill's on the back of that. I need my little miniature. Hi, I need this. Uh, we need 400 Clautium and 700 Core Stone. No, you've got to go back up on here. I'm very sorry. Stay. I suppose how good you... I'm surprised how good you said my name. Uh, I'm finished. We say it different. <coughs> so in my head, the way that I say it is like the drink. Like sake. I'm gonna assume it's like sake or sake. Sake. I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. I'm doing good. I actually need my pan because I need to bring in some clout. I need to bring clout in and of course time with me. We need to go and build some more drills. Get in. Yeah, Max, I'm doing all right. Cheers, bud. So yeah, we got this is our last stream today. And then we're not going to be streaming Hydronia until next Friday. So we'll be okay. we got enough for a couple of drills. How you doing, Heawolf? Yeah, we should, we've got enough for a few drills. We'll be okay. So let me just turn everything on. And hopefully we get things rolling. So that's the lava on. That's the conveyors going. And that's the drills. Just make sure that's actually running. Yep, she's running. I'm just going to make sure it goes over the top instead of like getting hung up. Much better, much better. Most of the pain and stiffness in my from my fall has gone. That's good. 
Well, you did he get hit by a bus? He didn't just fall. Got some really good bruises though. Fantastic. We like bruises. If I could find the last three bones, I'd be done with the uh, with all the chieves. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, the bones are a bit of a pain. So I was helping Diesel with his today. One of the ones he was missing was actually on this plot of land, basically where my harvest, where my um, hauler is. And the reason why he was missing it is because he'd never been to Waterside before. So that's a that's a reason why it didn't work for him. He he went there and said, "Oh, there it is." Bus didn't hit me. I was riding a bus and oh, okay, that's fine. Evening, Ben. How you doing, sir? Well, young sir, I should say, because you are young. Right. Anyways, so that's all working. That's all good. Technically, we shouldn't have a problem. Now, after yesterday, I am still a little bit paranoid of leaving this thing running because of just what happened. I need a boner. I don't know if you do or not. Your tip jar went up. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, that's all the bits that um, like Dead Tool's been donating on you. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's been doing, but yeah, every every time he pops on, there's like another hundred bits goes into the little tip jar. It's like yay! It's, I, I like the animation though. It's just pretty cool. <laughs> I'm sad, right? It's the little things in life that keep you happy. Will be pronounced boner. You're playing Minecraft. You're playing Minecraft? What are you? You're supposed to be a hydroneer of the highest caliber of Lego Lordism. Come on. I can't prop this tent up on my own. I'm. I'm it, it's getting hard. My shoulders are really all hurting now. I'm <laughs> okay. I'm not that big. I can prop a tent up by just laying down and having my belly stick up. It's like, yay, like I've got, I'm dry. Uh, but yeah, last live stream until next Friday for this. Um, I actually got a promotional, not, not so much as a promotional key. It's a sort of like early access key to Manor Lords. I wasn't expecting it because like all the big YouTubers are like playing it, like Blitz and a few others. And I was sitting again, ooh, I've got one as well. It's like, okay, cool. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm not very good at city builders or micromanaging or anything to do with medieval because there's just no technology. But I'm giving it a go. I was going to start recording a mini project off today because it's going to take me... It's probably going to take me a couple of good long days to record that project. But, yeah, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there, slowly. Hey, that was just the best timing ever. Nah, it's fine. It's, it's one of those times I sit there and just go, right, okay, I'll build all this stuff and then sort of work it out as I go along. It'll be fine. I'm just not very good at The reason why I'm not very good at like, city building stuff is because, in fairness, I don't really play them as often. So I'll just sort of figure it out and I'll be like, oh, that's really cool. Does look really good like graphics wise, it is it is blindingly good. So if you ever get a chance to look into Man Lords, uh, definitely give it a shot. I mean it looks good. I mean playability is like, well, it's up to you. Chuck that there. Ah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Be yeah, like normal. If you're having issues with Hydroneer or if you've got any questions, I can try and answer them as best as I can. Or try and show you an example of anything that might you might be having issues with. Or go through all the videos that I've just produced over the last couple of weeks. Because I need a rest now. Like, me me playing this game is actually having a rest. Because I'm not having to think too much, which is quite nice. But, like, putting the videos together is like brain power. Because I have to try and form cognitive sentences that don't kill my mentality. It's quite hard sometimes. <laughs> just need to know, like... Okay, yes, yeah, so no one's talking on to me. 
Just out of curiosity, anybody on Twitch, can you just write hello in the chat just so that I know that the thingy that I've got is working? What about the hidden achievements? Got them all. Yep, it was basically throw a snowball at the king. So I threw a snowball at the king and I got my achieve. Is there a map for all of the buff stone spawn locations yet? Go and check the Discord. Um, I think somebody is working on the map, so yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much over on Twitch. Most appreciated. Gone postal? Is it go gone postal? Sorry. And Clever Croc, thank you very much for confirming. Basically, I'm using like Stream Elements is like multi-chat thing, so I can basically read um, all the chats that come through. How fast are the large miners? Uh, for everything that... Oh, are we empty? Damn, okay. Uh, basically, for everything that you can... Um, everything that a normal lava drill does, it does it like three times faster. Map of, map of all the fossils. Again, they're like on the Discord, maybe. I get, they're all just like random locations, so they are being worked on. I don't know if anybody's actually building the map. I think there is. Thank you very much for following over on there. Most appreciated. I'll give you a sec. So that's the notification I don't get. Okay. So that was a gamer eagle. Fantastic. Alright, okay, I'm seeing everything, that's fine. Do do So that's okay, so this is where it's getting a bit weird. Oh, okay, save. Griffiths Gaming. Yay! I can see everything. Fantastic. That's the problem I was having yesterday. But thank you very much. Griffiths Gaming for subscribing. That's awesome. I don't know if you're there, then you're there. Thank you very much. If you're not there, then you don't know I'm talking to you. It's fantastic. I was looking through Steam. There's a game coming out on the 16th, I believe. It's a story game. Looks really cool. It's called Harold Halibut. Okay. Doesn't sound like something that I would play personally, but each to their own. That's fine. It's space bar to retract. So why is that not retracting? <coughs> right, we'll do it the other way. Well, here we go. Janky hydrogen physics. Woo! We like janky physics. It's awesome. Dude, dude, dude. Dude, 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 And there we go. No, in. Just bring it in. Bring it in, Sam. Right, there we go. Neow. Hopefully we get back and there's no issues at my harvester at all. After, yeah, problems. I was looking through Steam. There was, okay, yeah, yeah I've read that. Beam me up, Scotty. So I need to make that window a little bit bigger and that window a little bit smaller. A what? 
Okay. I don't know if that counts. Okay. Can do. Except for the mushroom cloud I see in the distance. Is that where your base was? Yeah! Actually, that could be it. I found a glitch earlier today with the lava hauler and the lava thaw that you can fly with. Yeah, so w there's a way of actually controlling it as well. If you get hold of like, the second player controller. And you can sit... I think you someone hooked it up that you can actually sit inside the tank whilst the hauler's holding onto it. And it just means that you can fly around. What? I don't know. I need conveyor belts. I think I've got a cord. Right, so I need conveyor belts and then I need to hook all this up. We have no conveyor belts. Do I have my money in the back of my truck? Yes, I do. Right, we're off to the shop. Thank you very much for following uh, Silary Game, Gem? Solarium? What? Silary Gem. Am I saying that right? I hope so. <laughs> I'm very sorry if I just butchered your name. And yeah, I'll take it as shame. I'm very sorry. I'm just not... Like when it comes to like names that are spelt wrong, or not so much as wrong, but just like I don't recognise it, I'm an idiot. Alright? I'm just very sorry for being dumb. Even all, Quizzy, how you doing? It's okay, Cilia. Or Scylla is Final Fantasy boss name. Oh, okay, gotcha, yep. I have a question. How do you get Cloutium from uh, or from the drills? I can get them by using the drill into Pan Trick, yes. So the way that you... I'm, I'm just... Are you playing the base game? Have you played the base game at all? I have to, The reason why I'm asking... Is is one of those things I, I do have to question. Because it's get this is going to help every this is going to help you understand this. So if you if why is that not loading now? Oh no, no, it's fine. Just, have you played the base game at all, or did you just buy the base game and the DLC and then just go straight into the DLC? I have, but I'm playing on the DLC right now. Right? If you've played the base game, getting Cloutium is exactly the same as the base game. Exactly the same. And if you know how to get the, the Cloutium on the base game, you know how to get Cloutium in this game. In the DLC. It's exactly the same. No, Nothing different. At all. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, two squares deeper. I made a video on it. Basically, you have to dig two squares below the surface level to get Cloutium. It's been the same since 2.0. Nothing, it's never changed. Jumping in for a quick question. In Waterside last night, I found dripping water out of nowhere. It filled my pan, but won't fill the L Frosty Thora. Okay. Uh, is it supposed to be like that? No, it's not supposed to be like that. There is no water. That's interesting. You never, you have, okay, cool. Um... Have you got a heavy harvester by any chance? And was where you found this drip under the heavy harvester in any part of your game? No. 
Not yet. Okay. So no, I have no idea why you have dripping water in your game. It might be best to join the Discord on the not not my Discord, the Hydra the Foulball Hangover Discord. Jump into there, take a screenshot, and then be and be like, yo, I think I found a problem. Because there has been issues with the heavy harvester in the past with like a drip that actually comes out of the harvester, which isn't normal. Um but yeah, I've never actually seen somebody having a drip inside the thing. That's really weird. Alpha Gaming, boom! How you doing, buddy? I am doing completely fine. Thank you very much for kicking by. I'm now sitting here just sort of... I, I'm basically... Tonight is... If anybody has a question, I could probably answer it. I'm just sort of mulling my time building and doing stuff that I normally would now. I'm just chilled. Just chill. It's all good. Spent 30 minutes trying to pipe to the, into my system. Yeah, I know. It's a, very, it's a very strange one. I would say, like, to be fair, I would say that something could Max could have added. I mean, it, he probably won't now, but what he could have added is a, like, a water drip system out of the bedrock where, like, you get a pool of water at, like, one side so it actually has water. You know, so you, if you actually get it, then you're able to, like, do it yourself. But that's just something that could have been done, you know? I think, I think that's too much into, like, the actual how the game works and sorry I got hiccups I had my dinner and now I just can't stop making funny noises oh the woes what do you think is next for Adrian here um it, do you want my honest opinion on this like I mean proper like yeah I'll I'll, I'll be brutally honest about what I see from Adrian uh, took a small gaming break also been diving into Planet Crafter almost finished the game I'm going to be restarting Planet Crafter again, and I'm actually going to be... I want to do, like, one of those really long-winded, like, one day one to 100 hour things on there. So, yeah, I'm, I might be doing that. That's going to take some time to edit, though. Okay, cool. So, my honest opinion about what I am what I see from Hydroneer. I don't think... me. This is me, personally, not influenced by anything at all, apart from what Max said in his video about Volcalidus. I don't think, unless it's going to be updates and maybe little things added into base game, I don't think there's going to be anything else for Hydronet. And that's coming from me, right? The reason why I don't think this is because I think Hydronet has got to a point where it doesn't need anything else, unless Max wants to add like another DLC or a mass expansion into the number two. But I don't see that happening, personally. I see Hydroneer going now into, like, for what I can, what I would tell from the game, like, the, the way that a gaming roadmap would go, I can see this game going into, like, maintenance mode now. And maintenance mode is basically when you've got to the end of the game's sort of internal, like, growing life, and then it basically just sort of, you know, it, the, if there's bugs, they fix them. If they got to that, if, if they're up to that point where they don't really want to develop it any further, then that's so be it. Now, partially the reason why I say this is because if you watch Max's latest like foul ball hangover development video about Volcalidus, he does say that they want to start working on a new title at some point. So I'm thinking it might be that time. I genuinely feel that it could be basically the end of actual development for Hydroneer and it just goes into just chill mode and everybody plays it and enjoys it and be happy. And that there's we didn't have we went through like four years of bug fixing and all the crap that a lot of us early players dealt with and now the game's in a working condition that basically you guys have got a, a working game and that's where i see it i mean as said i'm i'm just an uneducated oof at this point just like whatever i know it's an oof but i'm just saying oof because it's like it's like in it talk right but yeah that's just that's just how i see it I, I, unless Max is working on something in the background that we have no idea what's happening, we, I genuinely think this is where Hydroneer is going to be. I think that is the end of development for its life. But I could be, I could be wrong. I, I'm, as I said, I'm just, I'm just going by what I've seen in previous games of my time in, in the gaming world. Games get to a certain point where the developer doesn't really want to push it any further because it would spoil what is already there. 
and that could happen with Hydroneer. If too much gets put in, you just end up ruining the reputation of the game after a while. Or people just get really frustrated with the fact that things keep changing and things keep doing this. People just want a game that works. And I think now, after four years of really fudging around with it, it does work. So, that, that as I said, it's just me. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, though, so it's all good. Uh, just got tier two tools. Should I try to get the roller to clear everything down or just use a pick and a rake? How much time do you want to spend digging? That's that's the big question here. We can't put it there. Uh, I feel the only exception to that being honest in Minecraft, and even that is put... Yeah, I mean, so Minecraft's... I feel Minecraft has got to the end of its life. But it is just... It, because it's massively popular, the studio won't ever let it die. You know, it, that's ju it's just... At this point, it's like a cult. The only way that's going to die is on mass exodus. Where you just go, yeah, nuke all the servers, and everything just disappears forever. <laughs> but that'll never happen because it's too profitable like I said in, in everything I've ever like paid attention to in the gaming world I would say that unless Max has got something up his sleeve that's bad. yeah which one oh no okay so the one that I've I've been looking into and the one that I've been paying attention um, he's the guy that used to be on GMTV 20 odd years ago doing Wall Street stock market trading and Greg Secker is one of those people who's traded like 500,000 people around the world just look him up Greg Secker um, I can't remember but he's his, his isn't a scam because they've made enough money just to do it for whatever but you can look him up Look up his credentials. Look up his entire company. Look up everything he has in the, in public space. Let's put it this way: if he was scamming people, then that would be like a really big problem in the whole Wall Street world. Because of what? Oh, there are similar ones. Yeah, there are flipping horrible. There are really horrible ones out there. Um, Greg Cordone is one of them. Uh, honestly surprised all the stuff you come up with with the wrench merry-go-round hadn't come up sooner I've been watching it did come up sooner I just never made a video about it it actually came up in um, the last update like the 2.01 I never did it then sorry for asking too many questions just got the DLC and I've just found this channel not bad after an hour that's okay cool uh, also I don't know what I don't know that you could put spanners on a tool rack no you well you can but you can just put single ones no one buys single ones though no one buys them Yeah, so what's the one you found that you think is a scam? Is it Greg? Was it Greg Cordon? <laughs> a lot of this. Yeah, a lot. A lot of the ones that Greg Cordon is part of, they're very sort of predatory. I think that's the word for them. But the one that um, Greg Secker's part of is the one that that's his own company that he's built up since he retired at the age of twenty six. He made enough money doing the when he was on um Good Morning T V or before it was like Richard and Judy stuff, he would do like when the news went, Oh, so what are they doing over in Wall Street right now? And it would be him on the T V and he's built his personality up from that over his. Do you think it's worth using buff stones on the larger harvester? Uh I haven't. If I'm gonna be brutally honest, no, I haven't bothered. It's up to you. The 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 buff stones are a choice. You either use them or not. That's that's your choice. Me personally, meh. It's something else that I don't really feel 
massively attached to in this game. And I, yeah, it's one of those things. There will be other people who will swear by them, though. That didn't lock in. Right, I need to drive forward a little bit. There we go. And then we need to bring this back a little bit. Then we need to bring it left, right a little bit. And we need to rotate it a little bit. And then we need to drop it a little bit. Oh no, that's too far. Go up a little bit. Back a little bit. Right a little bit. Down a little bit. Wait, there we go. I only got two. Well, the thing is, as I said, they're up to you. Have you seen the new weapon they added into Minecraft? I don't watch anything to do with Minecraft. I'm just not a Minecrafty person. I just... It's not for me. Minecraft is just not for me. I'm very sorry for all those people out there who like Minecraft. But my, I'm, I'm too old to play Minecraft. I'm too old to, like, sit there. The only time I'll play Minecraft is if my kids decide at one point they want to play Minecraft. And I would have to be forced to basically buy Minecraft. Sorry. I just don't do Minecraft. You would have thought it'd been perfect for someone like me playing this all the time. You're not old. I am. I feel it. There are, there are days. Yay! Right. That actually might... Oh, no, we need one more conveyor belt. Right, let's just get this out of here. Yeah, I don't play Minecraft. As I said, I never got into the whole Minecraft thing. I just... I never sat there... Even when it first came out. I mean, when it first came out, I was... 20... I want to say I was 20... When did Minecraft officially release? Uh, Minecraft... Official release date. Minecraft's release date was in 2011. Alright, so 13 years ago. Yeah, that's a long time, man. Long time. I remember when it was released. I could have swore it was older than that, if I'm going to be brutally honest. It was probably an alpha phase when I first... Or beta phase when I first heard about it. Maybe. Two thousand eleven. What was I doing in two? I can't even remember. What was I doing in two thousand eleven? I don't know. Two thousand eleven seems like that's too far. That was too like, early or too late. Sorry, I swear I heard about it longer than that. And I probably did, because didn't some company like they bought it out of the original owner? 2009 is the first version of Minecraft. I think that's where it is. Yeah. Okay. So that's where I would have said. Like, because 2009 sounds about right. Because I was working in... I was working two jobs at the time that game came out. I was talking to my friend whilst I was stacking shelves in the supermarket late at night when he was talking about Minecraft. So, yeah. 2009. So that that's fair. Okay. I, I get it now. So, yeah. 2009, I was... 26. That was a long time ago, man. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I'm old. I'm old. So you can be you can tell how old you are by the games you've uh, by the games you've been into. Oh, I can't turn that one on yet. We need another conveyor belt. 
2009, you were minus one. Yeah, well, that doesn't really help me feel any better about myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I was 26. Yeah, because that was before I even had like, well, before Kerry was in the picture of life. Um, yeah. Hey there, lass, there's some chunk of drills, eh? Yeah, they are. Are we all going to be talking like this now, nah, right? Uh, oh. Bring up the yeah, or doing all that. This bump, boom to you. How you doing? You're already a year in the service in 2009, dude. Fair play to you. I played Minecraft until you were three. Have you played the original Resident Evil one or the Quake one? Yeah, no, I I, I remember Quake and the original Resi. The the first scene of Resident Evil after you've done like that like the intro with um, Ujima Flippy and Jill the first scene where you go around the corner and he goes into that like really crappy VR sequence of like the, the, the zombie tilting his head gonna be honest that that that, that, that shit me up a little bit when I was like when I was younger joys of like when I was young <laughs> when I was young right we need one of these what did you miss not a lot not really. I had a break. Even though I'm Norwegian, I have been asked if I'm Irish, German, Danish, and Swedish. When I used to play on Xbox, and I used to use voice chat before microphones were like any good, I used to get I, I used to get Americans going, "Hey, you Scottish?" I'm like, "Really? I mean, do I sound Scottish? Really?" <laughs> Man, that's, it's a long time ago. Don't forget if you are enjoying the stream and you are liking it, and you've liked all the stuff I've done, first off, thank you very much for all being here. Number two, if you don't mind, it's free, you don't have to pay anything for it, and you might get some good luck out of it. Hit the like button, because the like button shows the support for the stream, and the channel, and the streamers, and everything else that goes into me sitting here on my ass playing this game. I don't get up unless ten people like my video. <laughs> ten likes? Bah, go back to bed. 2009, I was 39. My favourite games were on the Atari. Oh. Back in my, back in the good old days when gaming used to be a lot more flipping havoc. Yeah, I remember those days. Can you get Fortnite? I've played Fortnite. Um, I played it before it was a Battle Royale game. I liked Fortnite before it was a Battle Royale game. I spent money on Fortnite before it was a Battle Royale game. Right? Screw Battle Royale on Fortnite. I hate it. Alright, there it is. I've said it. I don't like the Battle Royale. I preferred it when it was just Save the World. It was just better. I just want to hear the chug 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 Let it out! Yeah! There we go. We're rocking and rolling now. Yeah, I'm in the same boat, mate. I, I prefer the Save the World version of the game was the reason why I spent money on it. I, I, I enjoyed Save the World. It was awesome, and they didn't keep to it. Can you get the Escapist too? I think the Escapist Three is coming out soon, is it? I do want to look into uh, Prison Architect Two though, because the whole game's in 3D. I think that looks pretty cool. I think nowadays, like, ho horror games are just too... I think people are just too used to them, if you know what I mean. And people are just like, yeah, whatever. I don't think they care anymore. 
no matter what, I'll never play Battle Royale. See, I've played them. My opinion on them still stands. I just don't like it. But I've given it a go. Doesn't agree with me. I move on. It's fine. Someone just subscribed to the channel and it didn't come up. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a steep price in my opinion. A prison architect. Yeah, I know, but I think they've worked on it quite. I think they've worked on it enough to basically warrant it. But we'll see. You know, I, I'll I'll apply for it if I get the opportunity. We'll see. What other games like Hydroneer do you recommend? Satisfactory. Off the top of my head, Satisfactory is like the next one. Followed by, I don't know, you look at anything with a conveyor belt, really. Astro Colony is pretty good. I like Astro Colony. Their update just went live. Um, anything really that's automating. There's a lot of automation games on um, Steam, though. Some are better than others. Yeah, Factorio, definitely. Like, Factorio is, I would say Factorio is, like, the next one up from, like, uh, Satisfactory. I would say Factorio has probably got a lot more of a steeper learning curve than Satisfactory, because Satisfactory is just, like, here's your conveyor belt, here's your machine. Now sort of work out how it works. Factorio, you'll be like, okay, this is really easy, and then it gets harder and harder with everything you add, and all the little processes you have to add in and add in, and then, and then it gets a little bit overwhelming. Have you heard of Asphalt 9 Legends? Uh, that's a mobile game. I don't do mobile games. Uh, Dyson Sphere Project was alright. I just think they put loads of enemies in. I'm just like, oh, I don't really care anymore. I just want to play games that I don't... I want to play games like this. Where I don't have to worry about enemies. I don't want to be beaten up. I don't want to be zombie hoarded. I just want to automate stuff and make it look cool. That's it. Satisfactory is ten times simpler with the logistics of Hydra. Basically, yeah. Yeah. The problem with strategy games is people on YouTube. I don't know if I don't know like what the crowd is with like with strategy games. But I see a lot more people like obviously going down the routes of like indie and like automated because it's just more satisfying. Can see the sort and I was like, get it sorted. There you go. All we gotta do is just keep extending the bit the uh the line now. Hold the line. Oh whoa whoa whoa. Right, so that's all my call. That's all my piping. Do you have a Discord? I do. Yes, there's a link in the description box. Right. I think what we need is we need to work out what we need down here so we won't need straight uh, will we need straight belts yeah we probably will need straight belts after this but not too many so I need to basically put a tank here and loop that round here and bring a tank in here Good, right. So my tanks are going to go in here. I need to bring another row of like heavies in there. Uh, that's fine. How big are the chunks in the larger harvesters? Fairly junky.
but compared to the little stones, you can definitely tell there's a difference. Damn it. Join the Discord? That's not a problem. But I will say that if you spam the crap out of the Discord and everything else, you'll end up like everybody else. You just get banned. Like my Discord is one of those places where you go if you're right if you're you don't want the hustle and bustle of like major discords of like everything. You just want a place where you're just gonna sit down and occasionally talk to people. That's what my Discord is. It's not busy. It's just chill. It doesn't need to be busy. Well, we're doing okay. I think we need more, though. Definitely need more. We always need more. Chris, how you doing, buddy? Ah. Huh. We'll give it a few more minutes to, like, gather up. We'll be alright. You should rate people bases on Hydronir. No, I, I, I did, um, I used to do a feature called Pit My Plot. Thank you very much for subscribing. PJ, why does it go up on there? Why is it not coming up on there again? See, that one's fine, but I'm not seeing all the ones that have just happened. Very strange. Trying to get this working and it's not. No, I'm using OBS, but I'm using um, Stream Elements as interface. What game will be next on the the years long addiction? Um, I don't know. I've got to be honest. There's not. There's nothing like this out there. Like Hydronia, the reason why I fell into Hydronia was because of the community more than anything. People wanted certain questions answered, so I answered them. But it's the first time I've ever gone, you know what, I really want to get into this and I really want to dig into it. So I, I did it. I haven't found another game like it. So I don't know. Fair enough. Yeah, the, the last two, the, the last few bands always a pain in the ass. But I, I don't know. For some reason, and I, I, I've tried to like do this on other games. Like, what was the other one I did? Um, Valheim. I started doing like building guides on how to do certain things on that. <sighs> don't know. Do you think Out of All will get close? Over time, yes. Hi, I, Out of All has so much potential, but it just seems to be a little bit like behind. If that makes it makes sense, it needs to be pushed like in the right direction. But at the moment, like. They're updating all the um, the vehicles and all the looks and everything, and they're trying to add in a few things. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Needs to happen a bit faster, because I've got this feeling if people ha if people have to sit here and go, yeah, and we're like, oh, you know, and it's like, jeebus. If you if you speed up that process of getting like the the updates out more and more, more people will take notice of the game. And I I can only see positive things for out of all, but it literally is just like a pain in the butt. Howdy, new to channel, enjoying the content. A boom to you, Cricket. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, I just found a glitch. You can carry both the sorter and conveyor belt and smelter at the same time. Okay, cool. Didn't know that. Another 200 subs since last Wednesday. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, the problem is, is like, now that I'm at the end of the Hydrania content, it will just slow down. I literally don't have anything else to cover in Hydrania at all. It's not like it's it, it's not like all of this stuff is like brand new. I've covered it for years. 
and now Hydra just works in the background for my channel. It's basically passive like views, which is just what Hydra is. Uh, how's the family doing? Doing okay. It's not like I'm not complaining. I like I I love Hydra, but I need some. I want something else to carry that on. And I have been considering doing like the day one to one hundred content. Somebody suggested it in my Discord, and then they were like, "Hey, can I give you a suggestion? Like, can I send you a message?" I'm like, "Yeah, cool. Yeah, send me a message." And he goes, "Seriously, have you considered doing this before?" I was like, "No." And um, basically, the day one to one hundred would be, I play a game completely for like a long period of time, and then I basically make a video that's like an hour long of like documenting the days, like the hundred days journey through the game. And I was like, you know what? That is sort of content I could do because I can record it in like five minute sections, like make some jokes and everything else. And just show the game off. And that sort of works for me. Because I like adding like humour to like bits and pieces. I may not be that funny. But it does help me in a way. But like longer projects. They take a little bit longer. But I can plan them out a bit better. Which I was like you know what. I might be alright. So. I am considering doing one to see if it works. And basically the one I want to try. Is for Planet Crafter. I want to do a, a day one to day, a day 100 on Planet Crafter and see how it goes. Um, but I have got to record a video for Manor Lords first. Because that needs to be done. And I really like that game. I, I genuinely like it. It, it. I'm not the greatest at it, but I'm, I'm okay with it. But yeah, I, the reason why I was thinking of doing this is because... like the problem. I, so here's the problem with doing like YouTube videos. If you don't have an audience to watch, it's basically everything you ever make. Which a lot of, a lot of my stuff, I don't. So I'm always trying to find something else to try. Now this like one day to one, day one to day two, uh, 100 is just something I want to try. And if it works, then it'll be okay. I'll bring one up every other couple of weeks or so because they are a pain in the ass to record. There's a, it's a lot of recording, it's a lot of scripting, it's a lot of like messing around. So it's just something else I want to give a go and see what happens. And we'll go from there, basically. Hopefully, you, I mean, if I do get around to it, I hope you enjoy it. Because it will be one of those things. But yeah, we'll see. Man of Lords is coming on the 26th. I got a promotional copy. No, I got basically, I'm, I got um, added into their like beta phase. So I can show off the game. Uh, they've basically said, don't do it as a review. I was like, okay, cool. Because parts of it are like, still broken. So it's fine. I would watch it. Doesn't matter what game. Yeah, that's fine. Well, it's not the game for me. It's the format. Like most, gee. So what I would the the whole thing with the idea is to just do something else, you know. I'm up for trying other things, so that's what I want to give it a go. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it works, then I, it might be something I keep around on the on the channel. Yeah, well, I say lucky. It's like they said they said like hooded horse sent me um, basically because I've I've done stuff for them before. Um, they sent me, they sent me copies of like quite a few of their products, but a lot of it I don't really like. I'm not a big fan of. Um, but yeah, Manor Lords was like, hey, this must be a big thing because Biff is playing it. Because I'm going to be brutally honest, being somebody who's in the sim world, I've never heard of Manor Lords. But then when I was looking through YouTube of like who's playing this game, I was like, Jesus, like okay, Biff is playing this. It must be a good game because he doesn't drop City Skylines for anything but another good game. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking into it. I'm, I've recorded about 20 minutes of the intro, get myself a lot of sort of like steady into it, and then I've I stopped recording and I'm playing through like a couple of years, learning how everything works, and then drop back into it a bit later on. Sorry, I had a heavy sneeze while I slammed my keyboard. Not a problem. And you wrote the word chi when you slammed. Fair play to you. <laughs> Achoo! Bang! Oh, cool. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Have you heard of Power Wash Simulator? Yes. Very entertaining. I finished it like eight times. Cool. Oh, yeah, I, I've played it a little bit. It's one of those games you can just switch your brain off to and be like, no, I'm fine. And just like go into like funny, like eerie little spasms in your head. I'm fine. And now I'm like unconscious because I'm so relaxed. Like, no. Yeah. Been there, done that. Never bought the t-shirt. Let me just pop. Is that my empty one? That is my job. Let me just pop all this back on the conveyor belt. So I don't need it anymore. Oh, 
But yeah, I, did, I didn't realise how lucky I was until people started going, oh, you got a key for it. It's like, oh, yeah, actually, not bad. Yeah. Can I talk to you? Yeah, you're talking to me now. I mean, I, I know it's like stating the obvious and all, but you are talking to me. It's a major it's a magical world we all live in, right? Where you're able to talk to somebody on the other side of the world in a completely different time zone without a telephone. It's amazing in a call. No, I don't know we do calls. Sorry, buddy. I, I tend not to just call anybody. The other reason why I don't take calls from strangers is because the other day, some people in here will remember this, but the other day I had to mute somebody off of the chat because they were spamming my di they were spamming the chat. That person then went into the Hydroneer Discord, tagged me and tried to tag other people to tag me to try and get me to talk to this person. After that failed, they tried to basically phone me on Discord up to 50 times, and I don't bloody know why. So I try not to take calls from random strangers, because not being horrible, and I know this is going to sound like generalistic, but some of you are flipping weirdos. <laughs> I mean, I'm not exactly sane myself, but just saying... Yeah, it, not, not just like super annoying. Like that was like super stalkerish. Like that that would be bad. Yeah, I'm okay, mate. Uh, if you want to say anything, you can say it in this chat. I mean, then it's public discourse, and pe other people can chime in with their like two cents and whatever else. Can you drop a heavy harvester down to tier three from tier zero? You can, but you need a really big hole, or drop it off the edge of a cliff. Yeah, but it can be done. Right, this is corners. You know what, I think I've got enough corners, but you can never have too many. Huh? We definitely don't need any more tables. I will have to go and do this to other pipes as well. Hybrid, I forget which tier did we get Claudium. Uh, two balls, two squares down. That's fine. That's an easy one to forget, if I'm going to be really honest. Because Core Stone is two... Sto two uh, <laughs> core Stone is tier two. Cloudium is two blocks up, two blocks under the surface. Huh? I'm sending you a picture in the Discord. If it's of your penis, I'm going to be very disappointed. Yeah, I heard. Where did you come up with the name Hybrid Steel? Uh, it's it's quite a boring story actually. So, Hybrid Steel is my original gamer tag on my Xbox 360. So when I first bought an Xbox 360, I was like, okay, it was my second gamer tag because I'm illiterate and I couldn't spell deafening silence properly. I renamed myself to Hybrid Steel. It basically comes from Linkin Park's first album, and I used to work in a metal factory. So that's basically it. Because Linkin Park's first album is like Hybrid Theory, and that's what hybrid, that's what, that's what Linkin Park used to be called before they changed their name to Linkin Park. So a little bit of like useless knowledge there for you. What am I looking for in my Discord? Why do I? Oh, flipping heck! Oh, Asphalt Nine, it sucks. Is that really, I'm not really bothered by mobile games. I think they're pathetic. They're basically cash cows of like. If you ever have you ever watched a video called um, "Gone Whaling"? 
It's on right. YouTube. I will forward this to you guys now if I can find it myself. But it basically shows you the corruptiveness of how mobile games are made and the main reason why people make them. And it's the presentation from a mobile game conference. Let's go whaling. Tricks for monetizing mobile game players with free to play. By the way, this video, when I first watched it a few years ago, pissed me off because so many people are like, oh my god, yeah, I just play mobile games because they're fun. Occasionally I pay like, like 99 cents to do something. Gaming companies don't care about you then. Funny how the way harder set a uh, hitting scenario two years ago and then back on the new random uh, kids that kids pub. Fireworks and stuff, some of the things. Uh, my cousin is calling me out of the thief. Wow. Do you have a look at the. Hold on. Do you have a look at the game it was won? No. I don't care about mobile games. Mobile games for me are less appealing than going back in time and spending money on like a Commodore 64. Always remember Diablo. Do you guys have not? Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, that that. Whoa. When that was said, I, I could I could hear like the entire world of Diablo just like cringing, all at the same time, just like no, dude, you don't want to do that. Because look at the, look how Di Diablo Immortal w went down. Like Diablo Immortal was designed for people who had massive wallets. Like there were people on like YouTube complaining they couldn't play with people because they'd spend like fifty grand on the characters. Like you are, I don't even see fifty grand. <laughs> Is there a junkyard in Vulcanoids? You do you do know Vulcanoids is a completely different game, right? There is a game called Vulcanoids. Now, I don't know if there's a scrapyard in Volcanoids, but there's a scrapyard in Volcalidus. Yeah, the, the, the whole mobile game for Diablo was laughable. I, I, I gave up on Blizzard around that time. <laughs> I did buy Diablo 4, but I did sit there and... Um, there was a lot of times I winced when I was thinking of their mobile shit. And when I was seeing people spend all their money on that game, I was like, you guys are just flipping stupid. Like, it just doesn't com comprehend with me why people do that. They're going to spend 50, 60 grand on there because they can swish around their giant, like, penis and go, Hey, look at me! I got giant armor! Look at me! Oh, yeah, you look like a prat. Well done. You just spent 50 grand on that. Congratulations for wasting your fucking money. Just stupid. Yeah, there were people spending... They, they spent 50, 60 thousand... There's even people like $100,000 into Diablo. No, I'm not, but I'm not, would you smeg off with mobile games? I'm not playing Asphalt 9. Why do I want to play Asphalt 9? If I want to play a racing game, I'll buy a proper racing game. Like Forza, or I'll play like Gran Turismo, or you know, just anything else that's out. Like the crew's pretty cool, but unfortunately Ubisoft are taking down their servers for the first one, which is a joke. Um, I'll play the new crew game, I'll play like Need for Speed, but I ain't playing Asphalt Racing. Oh. That's just, that's like low. Need for Speed's pretty bloody amazing. Play the originals, man. Six hundred thousand for a full upgraded character. Yeah, I know, it was ridiculous. Whoever, whoever was stupid enough to get into that was just, was an idiot. That's all I can really say about them. They were just morons at that point. You were playing Ultimate Online, and it was the news that someone sold a castle in-game for a thousand USD. Yeah, that, there is. It's not a mobile game, it is known. Yeah, Asphalt, the Asphalt series was originally on the mobile section. Android. So it's a phone game, Nintendo Switch, which port over mobile phone games, 
and Microsoft Windows, which is integrated with mobile games. Yes, I'm very aware. I'm literally reading the bloody page now. And the reason why it can be on Xbox is because it's attached to the Microsoft service, which is Windows, which can be added into the mobile section. Yes. Like the original Need for Speed most... No, 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 no. The original Need for Speed most wanted was like, that's fine. Go and play the original Need for Speed, the Underground series. They, they were really good. Burnout's bloody good if you want a racing game. Richie Free! Burnout. Yeah. Burnout was pretty damn awesome. I love Burnout. Good soundtrack. Burnout Paradise was like amazing. I spent way too long on that game. No, just playing it. I don't know how much clouting I've got and stuff. We need to go get more drills. The Xbox 360 was the first console I had when I moved out, which was amazing. Before then, I was on PS2. So when I moved out of my parents' house, I because uh, I had like some money left over and stuff from doing all my bits and pieces, the first thing I did was I went to Argos and bought a 32-inch TV and an Xbox 360. And there's me walking through town. Because it was an ex-display model, I had to take it off the shelf and walk through town with a 32-inch TV on my shoulder carrying an Xbox 360 in a carry bag. And those things weren't very light. So I walked that back to my car. And it was at the other end of town. So I struggled a little bit. <laughs> But it was awesome. I spent a good weekend <laughs> playing that. The original Command and Conquer. Yeah, they're actually on. Um, you can get them on here. Uh, on Steam. They bought out like the 25th anniversary edition for them. Or the 20th. What was the anniversary edition? Yeah, they just bought them out. How fat was the. It was only about that thick. So about an inch, which wasn't bad, but it was like really plasticky, and it was a, it was a big bezel in comparison to like when, when you look at like bezels now, and they're like tiny little strips. Like the bezel was about half an inch all the way around the screen. So, yeah, it was it was awesome. <laughs> Back in the day, I actually I probably got a t I've probably got a photo of it somewhere. Like I'm sad enough that I would have taken a photo of it on my Facebook somewhere. Probably, yeah. Yeah. I think I had a different TV at that point, didn't I? I can't remember what I had anymore. Oh, yeah. I, it was a good tally. Right. we got to find out. Cloutium or Callstone? We'll see if we can go buy some more drills. Four thousand five hundred. We're going for it. We're going for it. Three thousand two hundred. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> PS two. Miss games with awesome stories, like entire legacy. Oh, the legacy of Kane games are really good. <sighs> Gaming's just not the same anymore, is it? Like. Legacy of Kain, Soul Reaver, they, they they just won't get made anymore because nobody wants to play single player games. Even though nowadays loads of people want to play single player games because they don't want to play AAA shit. It's quite funny watching like the AAA world implode in on itself because every single one of them is like, we need to make a live service game. We need to make loads and loads of money off of these people who are stupid enough to buy our game every year. FIFA players, mainly. But then we'll carry on and we'll just keep doing it and just keep sucking the life out of gaming because it's not fun for anybody anymore. But we want to make them play. Like, Call of Duty is like ideal for like that mentality. That's a Slim Jim 32X uh, while we moved in a massive... Yeah, that's the thing. We've got like a... I think ours is a 55-inch now. 
And I think back to like when I, my first one, I'm like, my first screen was at 32, and now it's like 55. It's like, yeah, I, I was spoiled back then, wasn't I? <laughs> I had a PS1, played 2 and 3, uh, had an Xbox and played the newer ones. I started off with a Mega Master System. So Master System, Mega Drive. And then we had a Super Nintendo as well that was my uncle's. So he gave that to us. So it was me and my brother. And then when we sold up our first, when When my parents sold up and we moved in with our nan, my parents gave us each um, like £500. It was like, oh, we've got money! So we went to the X Rental TV store and we bought our very first, like our own TVs. Like this is the first time, by the way, that we were in our own bedroom. So we got moved when we moved up with our nan. She had like spare bedrooms. So me and my brother were in our first ever room on our own. The first thing we did was we bought a TV each and we bought a PlayStation Two each. And I bought mine with GTA Three because it came as a bundle deal, and I got a memory card. And that was like, oh, I can save my... Oh my god, it works like this. And I can put my card in there and I can save it. It comes with a little cool icon. Oh, yeah, like the world was amazing back then. Nowadays, it's like, I just put it all on my hard drive, I'm fine. Like, there's just like, it's, it's just not as fun anymore. You don't get any funny little dancing icons or anything. You basically just get a file name that just goes, yeah, by the way, that's yours. Yeah, back in the days, like so, some of the stuff that was that we we used back in, was like intuitive. It was a good design. It made it a little bit more fun. Now it's just all a little bit boring. Yeah. You love Helldivers too. Yeah, Hell Helldivers two is done properly though. If you look at the way Helldivers is done, like when you buy something, it's unlocked for the whole time you're playing. It doesn't just get locked off. It stays with you the whole. My brothers love Helldivers. I haven't bought it personally because I just haven't had the money over the last couple of months because I've been proper skinned. It's been fun. But, yeah, my, my brother's he's he's just basically sitting there just going, I love Helldivers too. It's like, carry on with it. It's fine. He streams it occasionally. And then when I watch his... Well, I've watched his stream a couple of times. It is mainly just him, like, screaming at the TV. Basically run away from stuff. It's like, okay, cool. <laughs> But yeah, he's like, he he's really enjoyed it, and it's it's sold me on it. I just haven't got any money to buy it, and I just see it right now as a, uh, ah, I'll be all right. I'll, I'll I'm I'm saving up for this, or I want to go and get that first. Uh, the next one we're playing, um, because it's gonna come out on console. We're gonna be playing Sea of Thieves, which is gonna be just fun. It's just going to be us, like, roaming the waves, just taking the piss out of each other. Just, everybody overboard. GTA on a boat, yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah, Sea of Thieves is going to be a good one. So, I, pl I played it on the PC originally, but I got put off with it really quickly when I was basically starting out. I'm a noob sailor. I'm like, yeah, look at me. I'm taking to the waves. And then I got kicked by, like, a bunch of people who played this game way too much. And I'm sitting again. Well, it's not very fun, is it? And then, as I spawned up, I got killed by them again. And again, I did that on a live stream. I just, I just went, you know what? I'm refunding this. I couldn't be bothered. So, as it's now coming to console, I've got, I'll have people to play with. So it'll be right. I remember how expensive memory cards. Yeah, memory cards weren't cheap. <laughs> yeah. Yes, 30 quid for 16 meg. Got to Pirate Legend with my mates from work was enough. Yeah, so I'm just seeing it as like it's going to be a fun game to play with them. It'll be alright. Um, I can no longer play uh, SOT. Being restricted to 90 FOV isn't very fun. Oh, it doesn't matter. Is there who you play with? Have you tried some of the forest? No. I'm not playing Sons of the Forest. It's not my bag. What? Sons of the Forest. I'm just... It's not really for me. Yeah, 16 megabit. That was how big a memory card was. Oh <laughs> Yeah, Ben doesn't know this. Hold on. Ben, I'm just going to show you something that's going to blow your mind. 
Uh, ready? You're, you're going to have your you're going to have your mind blown by how small memory cards were back in the day. All right, here we go. So we had the one megabit, uh, the eight megabit memory card for the PlayStation Two. Right, eight meg, eight megabit. That was it. That was all we had. The PlayStation memory card. By the way, this is now 20 quid, right? There you go. That was how we used to save our games, Ben. Back in the day. All right? And the uh, so these were 60... These, these were, like... This is not normal. This isn't for PlayStation, by the way. This is just, like, other stuff. But the memory cards we had, 8 meg, that was, like, £30. Well, hello there, memory lane. Yeah, we're having, a, we're having a memory lane day. But, yeah, they were ridiculous. And 8 megabit, by the way, was PlayStation. PlayStation 1 was 1 meg. You had a 1 meg card. It was holy crap owner, basically. That was when the world used to work in bits. <laughs> oh, I've got no more. See, you guys, are, like, the younger people nowadays are quite spoiled when it comes to, like, what, they, what you guys actually have. So much that we, so much that we went through just so you guys could have the best stuff. It's a bit like this game in a way. We beta tested this to a point that we know like the game works now. So all the people that are coming into this game now are going, oh my god, it's you know, this is a really cool game. It's like, yeah, we went through the harsh the harsh life. Bites not bits. Yeah, it was. I always called it a megabit. It's just me though. Yeah, exactly. We're running on terabytes. It's it, it's ridiculous. But you can get so much on it. I had Populous, GTA Vice City, Wipeout 2097, Thunderhawk, Firestorm, CNC. Exactly. It was just so much stuff we could do for it. It was amazing. Yeah. I'm sort of glad I grew up in that era watching like tech move. Because it helps you sort of understand everything now. It, it, you realise that we're we're quite spoilt for what we have now when it comes to like size and stuff like that and what you can get for your money worth now. Apparently, a heart shaped pizza, like a six to eight slice uh, pizza, having the heart shape in the slice was more perfection in the taste. Ooh, really? To know. I remember playing Tomb Raider back in the nineties and going with the bike onto the city. And, hold on, to go to the game show to read. The get yeah, the magazines were cool. We I had a stack of those at one point. The first GTA was yeah, it was top down. So you look down on top of the actual like thing. Yeah, back in the day. Lincoln 345T, thank you very much for following on Twitch. Boom to you. Can you find more than one relic per dig site? No, you can't. Uh, the dig sites are basically very... They are all they all have one on them. Every single one of them. No internet, just going in. Yeah. Going to the store, buying a game, plugging it in and actually working off the disc. No day one updates. It was amazing. Back in my day.
Memories of VHS. Yeah, I used to pirate VHS. You remember dial up? Yeah. Yeah, it was horrible. And when when somebody used to make a phone call when you're online and all you would hear is click and then all of a sudden your internet just dies because as soon as that phone was picked up your internet dropped because it could only deal with like phone line or internet it couldn't do both oh <laughs> memory lane memory lane do you want to know what the, the biggest scam was in the late 90s going into the 2000s biggest scam go on you think what what do you think the biggest scam was in the late in the late nineties, going into the well, early nineties, nineties. Right. What do you think the biggest scam was? And it was probably. No, I don't think anybody's going to mention it either. I had a, I had a rant about this the other day. Y two K. No, that was just funny. Anybody that believed that, <laughs> I laughed my ass off at anybody who believed Y two K was a thing. The 0908 numbers. No, nah, they were fine if you got your like your sex messaging or your, like your tech. Your, your hey, I got a new background for my mobile phone. It's cool. <laughs> no, the biggest the the biggest scam in the nineties was CD players that had the little button that you could push that didn't but like so it would be the non skip the non skippable button. So if you were to jolt it, apparently your CD would never skip, and it was bullshit. Mini disc, yeah, my mum's got one. Oh, yeah, mini disc plays with scams. Okay. But yeah, so that was the biggest one. Anti skip, yeah, they were, that was that was the, that was the problem. I had to go at it today because there, there was a post that came up on my Facebook. It was like, what do, what can you name the biggest scam? It was like, yeah, it was anti skip. <laughs> it didn't fucking work. <laughs> That was when you had to carry. So that that was when you had to carry around your CD player that didn't quite fit in your pocket, <laughs> unless you wore cargo jeans, and then you had like big pockets you could put it in. You had to have an extender on your headphones because the wire wasn't long enough to go from your leg all the way up to your ears, or you got those really long cabled headphones, and you'd have to carry around a pack of batteries with you because the fuckers kept dying. Yeah, I always used to go. I I, I used to go into the town in the morning. Um, used to catch the bus in, used to go bowling, because I was part of a bowling league. Always had my CD player with me. And then, um, as I, when I was doing that, used to carry around batteries with me. Because guaranteed throughout my day, because I'd be in town from like 9 o'clock in the morning till like 8 at night, or depending on if I was going home. And then I would be like carrying it around all day. My batteries would die every time. So like my, my paper round money and stuff was normally spent on a packet of batteries and if I could save up enough was a, a new CD each month. Let everyone hear your music. Yeah. I don't know if our bedding's done. Like I don't know if it's dry. Yes. The boombox appear. So boomboxes weren't really a thing when I was listening to CD players, and nor were like giant speakers at the time. It was mainly just everyone listened to their own music. And then it was like boomboxes were like uh, late eighties. That's when they sort of died off. And then everyone went into like personal cassette players and personal CD players and mini disc players. Boomboxes started coming back when like people started using the JBL speakers to walk around town, which was only about six years ago. But yeah, it's fun. Yeah, when, when I, I feel that when I was roaming around, when I was roaming the streets, we were the last sort of, I would say we were the sort of the last generation that did anything like this. Most people nowadays don't really go out socialising. We didn't really have much of a choice though. We had Nokia thirty three tens. We didn't have the internet. You're probably, I am probably the youngest in this group. Uh, no, you're not. Um, if he's in it, Ben Swaddling is like the youngest person I know that's in this chat. Why am I doing this? I need to go down.
Ben's like, yeah, Ben's 12 or 13, I think. I only know this because he's, he's said in chat. Yeah, the the brick. You're 14 now, thank you very much. There you go, Ben's 14. Congratulations for turning 14. Now you're just a moody teenager. <laughs> abuse, abuse. No! That's not good! I wonder if it's gonna. It might get stuck. Oh, bums. Oh, that's, that's never happened to me before. <laughs> Might have to go and fish it out. <laughs> Please don't land in the harvester. It will be a pain in the ass to get out of that. Yeah. <laughs> so we can't carry it, but you can put it on a conveyor. But actually, that's not a bad idea. There it is. It made it! The worst part is it could cause a massive problem. It might not, but it's going to cause a bit of a problem on how to get it off there. Oh, you know, just casually rescuing my harvester from the... From casually rescuing a drill from the harvester. Let me, I'm just going to have to screenshot this because like nobody else is going to believe this ever happened. Oh. I'm going to Discord this. I have to go on to Hydra's Discord. I have to go into the Nerd Lounge. Right, that's done. <sighs> I think that'll be enough. No, I've just got to see where that short because I've I've. I've got it set to record shorts. Well, that's not a, that's not a recording short. Oh. No. Okay. Well, that's the problem. It should have recorded that as a vertical, so why did it record as a normal? Oh, what's the resolution of a short? Yeah, but it should have just recorded that as a thing.
That's not good. So for some reason, that's all screwed up now. So what's ATM changed? That's something else I'm going to have to reinstall. Because that should have recorded as a short. Like, the actual, like... Show vertical in the main list. Okay, cool. Right, let's okay that. Let's press that button. I can't come with what I can't I can't name one thing in your room they're all just everywhere well all that stuff yeah probably it's... right yeah so that's backtracked has that recorded as a short and now it's not even bloody recording oh you mother truck tire Yeah, 1080 by 1920. That's the resolution for the for that video. So I don't understand why it's trying to record the whole thing. Random as hell. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to do some like rejiggering with my stuff. It's really annoying that. Right, take two. Let this be a lesson to your kids. Don't put heavy drills on a conveyor belt. You didn't find one buff stone. Oh, they're there. They are there. Ice Maze has got a couple of spawns. There's one or two up by Scoria as well. And tonight on the film list, Kerry is watching Beauty and the Beast. The real version, not the animated version. Oh, it didn't sound like it. <coughs> uh, 
I have no idea what's going on tonight. All I know is it just, yeah. That's really annoying. Anyway. Hope you guys are still there. <coughs> are we all okay? Yeah, it just, it literally just stopped me streaming. Like, sh it just shut down. Cool. Very, very strange. It's all going wrong tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. But I think we're still live, so that's okay. I'm not really worried about six star drills. I saw your video, I was just like, that's too much effort. I'm not doing it. I've spent too much of this game over the years fudging around to be bothered by. That's what happens when you push the wrong button. Is it just me or is it laggy? It's lagging. Something's happening. Something's happening. Something's happening. Something's happened. Give me a sec. <clears throat> Something's getting stuck. I don't normally have this much frame drop on anything whilst I'm playing. Yeah, there it is. Did you see it? There is something causing mass horribleness. I've never had lag like this for a while.
There it is. That's the lag. Right there. It's all the iron that's caught up on the edge. Oh, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Just literally got to wait until it all stops processing and we just turn it off and we've got to clear it. So this is the problem. Occasionally, this stuff happens and it's still a pain in the butt. So this will be something else. I basically ping over to the Discord and be like, hey, by the way, still having a problem with things getting caught on the belts. So good, let's keep bugged. Oh, you know what I'm afraid of though? He's actually putting a magnet to this. Because I don't know how much is there. gonna be a lot it's a lot it's a lot it's a slideshow yep PowerPoint presentation 2.0 And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, I shut down my conveyor belts and didn't let anybody else go through it. Oh, the stream's going to be fucked up for a little while. we got a lot of iron to clean up. But at least it's stopped. You know what? Sometimes you just sit here and just be like, whatever. There's a method to the madness, by the way. Yep. Holy cow. So let me just... So the thing is, I'm documenting all this. Because I'm basically putting this into the Discord. Yeah, but all of that sacrifice just to do that one thing. It's a lot of fudging around. All that iron, man, all that time, all gone.
Hydrate. I will do. No, it won't help. I mean, if you better water it, I don't know, maybe it would help the explosion. Maybe. So, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good chat. We can try it the next time. Because I guarantee it'll happen again. It's basically where the ores get stuck on the end. And it just starts building up. Build up really slowly. And you don't know it's happening. And then all of a sudden, your game just has a special fit. And you can't stop it. Should be right now. Would doing the up ramp fix it? No. Apparently, even yesterday when I had that problem at the top of the harvester, um, I had the same problem. Like, it, it literally just got stuck at the top. The idea is to give it as much free flow as possible. The downside is that it doesn't always work. And this, this, this problem has been happening even through beta testing. And it was like, this is still happening. Right? Yeah, we'll get around to it. It's still happening. And there you go. That, there's the problem. It's still happening. So this is something that they knew, they just haven't fixed it. And it's been reported several times by me and by Robocaust and a few other people. And it's like, it's still happening. So my advice, look after your belts. Because you're going to need to. Your hand sort of keeps losing its memory. Yeah, it was actually, if you look in, I think in the patch notes, that was actually sort of, um, I think they're looking into it. I think PTB server might actually be dealing with it now. Right, let's go upstairs. I usually put a straight convert and a merger. No, it'll still get jammed up. I've seen that happen as well. That's what happened to me on my bigger, on my other profile. So that whole idea of putting a merger on top of a, on a conveyor belt it does work, but then when they get overloaded, occasionally, um, if they're pulling too much off of one side, they get stuck in the corner, and they'll start building up in the edge. I've had that, that happened in my um, Bastion game a lot. Um, even you could try putting a centralizer here. That that would work actually. You know what? I think I need a centralizer. We can't go up that conveyor belt. Uh, no, go down. Go down. There we go. Right. So that's why I had to build that yesterday and move the harvester back one square, because that same thing that happened just a second ago happened on top of that where the it got stuck on the top and then it just built up and built up and built up and built up so it's always best to try and keep an eye on what these belts and every now and then come up and check your belts because yeah it, it, if it screws up you'll get what i've just had and you have to basically just delete ore at that point it's not fun i don't like doing it it's a waste right so what we're going to do with these is we are going to shovel around with um, dual fueling. Nah, it's not too slow. It's fine.
Turn your brain off. It's fine. I want to go higher, but I can't. I need to put T pipes on top of that as well. Uh, hey man, love the streams. Where do we get the stone foundations? The one that I'm using, or the big slabs of concrete? So the big lab, the big slabs of concrete, you can buy them in most shops. If you want the stuff I've got, you need to go down to Shattered Outpost. Put a pressure tank here. Huh? So uh, I'm gonna have to do some with this. Pressure tank's gonna have to go here then. If I put the pressure tank in that spot there, so it fully powers this belt, that'll be fine. Oh, we can do that. That's fine. That's okay. That's completely good. Uh, not going to give every... No, I'm not doing it. There's no, the, the, the thing that I get, Duke, is basically there's no point in putting max pressure in everything if you're going to run so much. So th this was something I overcame when I was going through like my tier 2. Uh, in my season 3, I was like... There's no point in putting all this pressure in. It's like, why? Because I'm just going to be running so many drills, it actually doesn't matter how much money I make. So, it doesn't matter. And it, it, it's a tough pill to swallow after all the years that I've been playing the game. And it's like, this is how I always do things. It's cool. Looking back on it, it's like, you're a stupid brat. Like, I mean, yeah, getting full pressure was fun. But it's like, don't need it. Right, that's been my next... I need three more drills on there. Then we're good. Right, get my straights in here. Exactly, like running them faster, I mean, what's that going to achieve? Okay, yeah, you made extra money and extra lag for yourself. Or what you could do is just run the machines. I think back in the days it was an achievement to get to, like, so many, but when you've got, like, when you've got Higgs Bows on map, myself, Robocaust, and a few others, right, we're, you know, we're, we build big because we test the game. And it's to a point where you're just sitting there going, there's not many other people are going to get to this point. You know, there's only a select few of us that have got that much time on our hands to actually bother. So, is it much point in doing it? Probably not. So that's, that's where I go from that. Just asking, since uh, plenty of builds back uh, to the day with pressure tanks. Yeah, I mean, back in the day, yeah, it was all about putting extra pressure in and doing this, that and the other. Nowadays, it's like, there's not really much of a rush for it or need for it anymore, you know? Can I post a Reddit link to a tank and drill test result? Can, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you can put it in the Discord, but it's... Like I said, I mean, the the thing with it now, I think because, I, I know this is going to sound big-headed to me, but because I've spent so long testing the game, and so long playing the game, and so long making videos again, loads of people think, oh yeah, well you must be doing this. It's like, you don't need to anymore. Like, the game works so well now, you don't have to worry about pressure testing. You don't have to, I did pressure testing. I've done all the pressure stuff. 
I did it. You know, I'll, I'll even show you the video. And I did this before everybody else because it needed to be done. Hydro near pressure test. If you want to see the direct results of a pressure test and you want to see how everything works and you want to see if it makes a blind bit of difference, watch this video. Obviously after the advert. Okay. Just going to show it. I pressure tested a pressure tank full on and all the way through every single pressure uh, pressure point on a tier 1 and tier 2 drill. There wasn't tier 3 drills at the time. And basically, at that point, you're able to see the drop on every single section. Yeah, I know. I've done it. The thing, the thing is, what I did in my video was I went through... I went through basically max pressure down to basically zero. And the other thing I did was I showed you how many pieces of dirt each drill got within its space, within a, a certain amount of time with the pressure drops. And it's like, okay. Yeah, and that's what I'm doing here. They will line up. If they don't work like that, I'll figure it out, don't worry. But I don't want to I don't want to mess around with this too much. Give me a sec. Let me just turn this off first and then I'll go back through what I'm doing. Cuz we'll be okay. I can't remember how I set this up on the last one then, because I, I think I've already done this once. Let me just finish this off first, because the thing is I've already done this, but it's been a while since I played with the T2 stuff, because I was making all the videos. Wait until all this crap's gone through. See? Corner. See that bit there? Oh, I don't want to touch that. Yeah, see, that can cause a problem. Like we've just seen. There we go. It's almost like we warned people it was going to happen. It didn't happen. Return to main menu. I have, that's the thing. I've done this before. And I just can't remember how I had the pipes laid out. Give me a second. Pretty sure I laid it out. Can't remember. It's been a while. This was my beta save, so it's been a while since I've done this. We plop. Had it all set up like that as well. See, I was just doing that crap again, so... That's where it, like, so to put this into perspective, this is where my mentality is. I never finished this, so I never learnt it. There we go. The thing is, is what would have happened is I'd have put the drill down and just gone, oh, and then I'd have had to redo my drills. That's just how it is. Don't worry about it. It's just me being dumb.
We really need a three-way? Yeah. I'm still, as I said, still don't know why it was never put in the game. There we go. So, You know what, I don't have to do this, it's fine. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's but it's mainly because when I was testing, I never tested on like as mass scale as like someone like Robocost, who basically if you see his build, it's like, oh my god. It's um it's monstrous. So he knew all this and I just didn't pay attention, basically. Yeah, I know. Why well, know now? We need a crate system or container. Ah, there is one. It's a mod. And if you use mods, you're not allowed to use your achievements. So, yeah. I, it's it's the worst piece of logic in, like, the brain in the... In, yeah, I don't understand why. Like, a lot of the mods that were in the original game, like, all the stuff that people created should be in base game they should be there they should just be things that are in the game anyway because if i'm going to be honest if i'm going to be really honest it should be there should you be placing straight pieces temporarily no i'm just going to fill this all up don't worry about it leaky pipes don't bother me i am fine And I'm not running this yet. That's the other thing. That's going to be pressure. That's fine. Where the... Oh, that's where I put Do not. And there we go. Actually, you know what? I could just put my... I could put a pressure tank here. That'd be fine. We'll do that. We'll put a pressure tank there. And then we'll be cool. 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 Yeah, all, 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 the, all the quality of life mods should be in the, in the main game. Like, the, even just, like, the, the crates alone would help people out. But I'm, I don't know why he never. Mo I, I don't know why he didn't want to put mod integration into the game. Like some of the mods were really good, and that's why I did. That's why I did reviews on them because I've got to be honest. They, some of them were just really good for people who can't run lots and lots of stuff, or they don't want to use like the carts as an inventory system. You could literally make a bunch of crates and have an inventory. It was awesome. But I just don't understand why it was. I don't know. It's, it's just strange. Is there a reason why your drills turn on and off randomly? Hmm. 
Not that I can think of, no. No, no. The, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, if you haven't got... I don't know, because they, they, they normally just use on 1%. So even if you don't boost your pressure, you get 1% of pressure. How did you manage to remove all the ice? I took a roller and rolled the entire game. It took me about 18 hours to do every single plot in the game over the course of two days. Let's put it this way. I was bored by the end of that. Like, proper stone-baked. My head was just laying on my keyboard. Just like, no, I can't do this anymore. I, I was doomed to fail on that day. Took a long time. And then the Thor tank works a lot faster. Now. Yeah, the Thor tank's a lot quicker. <laughs> and you can, you can do it a lot faster if you just, like, roll backwards. So you reverse the Thor tank and aim your turrets down. And you just farm that bit in front of you. And then just pull back a little bit. And then farm it down again. Pull back a little bit and farm it down again. And you just do that constantly. And it's fine. Did I find this out before? No. I spent 18 hours using a roller and a pickaxe and a, and a rake. And I was fine. I, I could have done it a lot quicker. But I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> it was one of those times where I should have listened to my brain a little bit. And be like, yeah, you, you, you need to do this. Nah, it's fine. We'll be okay. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. And then it was like, this is your brain on drugs. By the way, you're screwed. What have we got? 3,254. I don't really care about the leaky pipes. You know what? We're just going to... I do need to get myself a pressure tank. And then we'll be okay. Yeah. We're going to get a pressure tank. How many pipes do I need? We need some straights. Now I won't turn it on before leaving because I need to do a couple of things before I turn it on. Then I can leave it and we'll be fine. So I need to go and get myself a pressure tank for... Oh no, I need a pressure tank for lava, which is back there. And then I need to get myself a sled and a load of straight pipe. So we'll be alright. Most of my builds on the original base game, like all actually no, all of them, apart from one, I was it was mainly pickaxe and um rake. Every single build. The only one that wasn't a pickaxe and rake build was season two, where I was experimenting with the TNT Mark II and I blasted like a massive, like nice square, rect well, a rectangular like build. I was like, that's my main, that's my main sorting area. That's fine. That was fine. That was cool. I like that one. Justin, boom! Thank you very much for subscribing. I don't know. It's not coming up on my field. It's actually good. Oh, I have to do a funny old piddler around with it. I don't know. Ooh, biker, biker. Biker, Grove, man. Huh? Huh? Don't need a table. I'll be alright. I buy things when I need them, not any, not any time else. I, I don't like hoarding too much because it messes my OCD. And if you've been on my streams when I've done this over the last couple of years, it's the same thing. I, I tend to do it my way because it triggers the shit off me. Also, it's all good. 
Well, welcome to my stream. I am infuriating to watch because I play this game not like everybody else. The way I play this game makes sense to me in here. That, that is just it. Welcome to the last four years of my life. <laughs> I wish the arrow direction when it plays conveyors with a different colour. What I sort of wish that happened is, I don't know, I like, I like the green. There's also like a, a visual thing on the actual conveyor belts it shows you. Oh, I needed to buy more conveyor belts. Yep. 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 More conveyor belts are needed as well. Don't, you, uh, don't worry about it. I, I know this This is going to sound really sort of like egotistical of me, but why is Mac, have you seen my channel with how much like Hydra shit I've covered over the years? I don't need to be told what to do in this game. I'll, f I'll just do it as I go. I'm not Diesel. I mean, I, I can pull up all my videos if you want me to. I think I've forgotten more about this game than most people. And the other thing is, is when people start telling me what to do, I just turn it off. <laughs> you want to test? It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. I wouldn't worry about me. Let's put it that way. If you want to help some other people about this game, go and sit in the Discord. Uh, and it, this is the big thing. Go, go and sit in the Discord with all of, all of the knowledge that people have got, like for myself and other people. Sit there and constantly answer questions over and over again for days and days and days and weeks on end. The same stuff over and over again to a point you can copy and paste everything you've ever said to one person and you can say it to somebody else. And then you sit there just going, I'm sort of baked now. Does your editing. Trust me. So at the moment, if I make a mistake on this, generally, I don't give a flying rat's ass right now. And the reason why is because I'm not trying to help anybody. I'm literally playing this game and being like, you know what? I'm good. I'm happy. go into dumb mode now just like yep I can turn my brain off for a bit I'm all good check the pin message set the pin message check the FM yeah exactly yeah well we, we right Robocourse he set up quite a few of those pin messages and it was just like if you read this message you'll know if you read this message like when the Volcanidus DLC was dropping and people were just like, How do I do this? It's like, okay, we we sort of need to help. But it was yeah, it was that. Do you need a centralizer? Here's a good point. I was actually gonna try that so I didn't see if it get hooked up actually that's a good one. So I wanna see if that makes a sense with um the Ujima Flippy. Um the merger. Because I know the merger can cause problems later on, which is like what happened with me on my um on my tier three build. So when it, when you get to a point where you've got so many drills going, it all just starts lagging up and it gets stuck down the sides. If that happens on this, when you've got two rows running, potentially that could happen. So we'll try that. If it works, it works. It's all good. And it just means it's another one of those like QOL things. It's like, yeah, it works. Finally. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, I'm all good. I would say, and again, like, if if I'm playing something I'm not very familiar with, I don't mind getting people, like, telling me what to do in the chat, because genuinely, I probably need help. Or I'm just being a dumbass and I can't figure it out for myself. Or all of the above. But when it comes to this, I'm like, yeah, I mean, the main reason why I forget things is because I've done this so many times, it just turns into a white noise. 
No, you can't. No, so the whole like thing after a corner is it doesn't. Really, it, so I tried this. We tried this yesterday. So on this corner, I put a centralizer here, right? And chucking it here, it doesn't matter because it folds off into a corner. So it always hits this sort of like line on the conveyor belt. So even after this, and your stuff still has to go around another corner, it's going to hug that side of the belt. And it sucks. So, yeah, that centralizer doesn't really make a blind bit of difference, unfortunately. It is genuinely a pain in the ass. Um, what we'll do is we'll unload all this and... Um, I'll go and get myself a pressure tank from the uh, from New from New Vale New Glade thingy, Glade plug-in, Glade plug-in, New Glade. Oh. Uh, you have got to be joking! Come on, well done. You would think that the corners start the movement. Yeah, you would have thought, but no, they don't. It is it is very annoying. Baton! How you doing, buddy? Or Baton? Do I look like you're going to Baton? It's, it's beaten. You're like a beaten track. Yeah. I, if I, so this is going to cause a bit of a problem. Actually, you know what? It's not going to bot. Don't worry about it. I'm going to cork that end. And I'm not going to care about it. I'm going to be just fine without it. We'll be okay. It's just going to drip off the end. We'll be fine. Actually, I do need that one, though. Because I do need to put a conveyor belt there. Because I'm going to put a drill there. That's fine. That's fine. We'll take that one. We'll do that. We'll do that. It's fine. Right, let's get me pipes. Meep, meep. Bring all this closer. We're all right. Uh, you may need to go for a couple of last drills. We'll have the output. Hold on, what? May need to go one more as the last drill will have the output. One more over. Oh yeah, maybe. Good point. Odd question, but do you miss the smaller one nuggy one nugs? <laughs> no. No, not at all. I don't even miss them in Gold Rush. Now, am I going to do the same pressure thing here that I did over here? Actually, that's I should do, really. Because that's just pressurising this run. <laughs> We might have to rip this apart and put a pressure tank in. can go down here because we're going to need that.
Right, I can't remember which one I took out to do this. Oh, okay, yeah, so that's a T-pipe there. That's a single, and then that basically diverts into this. So this one needs to be a T-pipe. It is going to get a bit cramped in here, isn't it? For that, I'm going to have to go upstairs. I have got T-pipes. They're just in a different thingy. There we go. While I'm here, better pick that up as well. Get my merger! Hold on. It's steve -O's doing something. What's steve -O doing? I can't read it. steve -O's here with a party of five! Way Party of five! Party of five! Good drinking times. It's just a party of five. Bam. Bam. If I could jump, I'll be just fine. Right. So I need a tea pipe. This one. Dooby dooby do. Oh. Tea pipe's the second one across, not the first one across. So this one is a tea pipe. Yeah. Is yesterday's stream up? Should be. Thank very much for all oh, another raid of one person. I think that's just Steve-O. Steve-O's come in and he's just like, I forgot to bring myself to the party. Do not. I do need another tea pipe, so I've probably got one. In. Do I have another tea pipe in here? I don't know. There it is. Uh That can go in there. That can go in there. This can be a... See, I've done this before, and I can't bloody remember. Yeah, that's what I did. <coughs> that's, that's what I did. That's a corner pipe. There we go. Little bit of surgery on your Yoldi conveyor belts. Yeah, Steve, how you doing? I'm doing good, transport. Thank you very much for kicking by. Ah, boom. Right. Jigging it about a bit. Why don't I do that? There we go. Right, so this one is going to go that way. I'm going to get my merger. And we're going to go there ta -da. what's it like to be backed out uh, blacked out do you mean blackout drunk um it's uncomfortable i was wondering how often do i stream uh, normally I stream sort of like two to three days a week. So I normally stream Friday nights, Saturday night and Sunday nights. Sunday nights may be at the moment because it's like hydrogen season and we're all good. Uh, most of the time it's Friday, Saturdays. Uh, I will be streaming around sort of like four to five hours for Wednesday afternoon, uh, Wednesday mornings, UK time, because it's the day I'm not going to the gym. I have made it a, I have made it a decision of myself that I will be going to the gym four days a week and not three so monday tuesday thursday fridays so on the wednesday which is my rest day which i'll be crying and i'll be sitting here in a, a little bit of agony and pain just going oh why am i doing this to myself um mainly that day is gonna be my streaming days as well it's my rest day because i'm old and i need to go to the gym i need to get into a better shape than i am i've had two weeks off i miss it i really do i actually miss going to the gym which is something i never thought i'd ever hear myself say ever Ever. But I miss it. Never get drunk at all. No, <laughs> you have to get drunk at least once. I think you have to do think you have to get drunk at least once to basically sit there and just go, this was a bad fucking idea. <laughs> I think it's just one of those things. You know? I I got blackout drunk too many times. Like some of the stuff that I don't remember, when people remind me, I'm just like, I don't remember nothing. Like there is there are times that are scary. But normally I've got like a half decent memory of stuff that I got up to. 
Like, fracturing and dislocating my wrist was probably not the best ideas. Um, sleeping in a playground, that was fun. Sleeping on a skate park, multi-story car park. Done all that as well, that was fun. Uh, walking around the town at 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, my mate was sort of like, we, we spiked his drink with salt and stuff, uh, which probably wasn't the best thing we could have done for him, but it was fun. It was his birthday, it was, that was what we should have done. And this woman and her boyfriend and a couple of her mates were like, you can come back ours, you can sit in our garden. All we can hear in the background, in the back garden, we were getting stoned in her living room because they were a bunch of stoners. And we were a bunch of like young, innocent children, no, not children, like 18, 19 year olds. And um, yeah, she had Christmas lights up in her house and it was like June, which was fun. Real fun, real good. <laughs> Light hearted entertainment, let's put it on. <laughs> But yeah, apart from that, no, it's that, that's what I used to get up to. Just like, get, have fun, get drunk, and own it, basically. It was fun. There was one, I, we, I ended up around my friend's house, because I, I, bas I went, like, sober. So we went out clubbing sober, and my mate was like, hey, you can sit around mine for the night. I was like, okay, cool. So it was me, a couple of our friends, we stayed, stayed around our friend's house for that night. So I dropped everybody off because I drove to where we were going. Got around his house, and then he was like, hey, you drink vodka, don't you? I was like, yeah, yeah, I, I drink vodka. He goes, dude, you should try this. I'm like, okay, cool, what is it? He goes, I can't pronounce it, it's Russian. That's the last That's the last thing I remember of being at his house until I woke up the next day. All I remember is, I don't know, it's Russian. <laughs> that was it. And uh, when I woke up in the morning, yeah, that was fun. I walked out of his front door and I was like, oh, what's the time? I looked at my clock, I was like, I might be late for work soon. So I had to drive home. But, yeah, I don't remember that night at all. I re that is the last thing I remember. Yeah. <laughs> I have to see if these are like, if this is saving... It's now saving as vertical. Yay! Excellent. The easy way I found I've never got blackout drunk is to remember. Stupidly drunk. Yeah. So there's a lot of stupidly drunk things that I've done, which is just like having fun and throwing up on things. And throwing up down the side of a bus is not the easiest thing to do in my life. That, that was just not a good thing to do. But it was funny because it happened. Um, basically, we'd gone into town... And I had to catch the last bus home because my parents had a rule. If you're not home before like X o'clock at night, it was midnight, then you'd be locked out. Like you were sleeping on the porch that night, that sort of thing. So I always made it my mission to catch the last bus home, which means I'd get home at like uh, 10 to midnight because my my house was like three, I don't know, about 100 yards away from the bus stop. It wasn't that bad. So caught the bus home um my friends were smoking weed i was getting drunk so i was just doing what i normally do which is drink vodka like a goldfish i'm fine and because i was getting high off their fumes as well weed and alcohol does not mix very well so on the bus i'm sort of losing consciousness i'm like on the, on the, hanging on the front of a chair like like this just like Argh. waking up my friends are having sex at the front Oh, for fuck's sake. So then I blacked out again. I woke up. I knew where I was. I looked at the window. I saw the sign to where I was. Okay, I've got like three, four miles until I get off. And then I blacked out again. And then I woke up where I lived. And just before the bus stopped, I threw up down the side of the bus through that tiny little window that you have to pull open. So I had my head jammed down this little like funnel down the side. And as I got off the bus, I looked at the bus driver. I went, thanks, mate. And the evil look he gave me I was like, you fucker. I'm going to have to clean this bus because of you. And it was like, I'm going to get killed by a bus driver. Very, very <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I made it sure it got out of the bus. But you know when you, you know you've done wrong. When, <laughs> when an authoritative figure is just like, I'm going to kill you. Uh, yeah, that was fun. I would probably say that, the as Kerry's just said, like the bus driver was probably happier that all he had to do was get a hose pipe to the back of it and not like have to clean out his whole bus just because of me. 
So at least I did good there. You only need a host pipe. It's fine. I don't miss drinking. I don't know. I, I, I think I miss just the stupid crap we used to get up to. You know, I, I think I, I just miss that. I don't miss the hangovers because the hangovers got worse over time. Um, like some of the stuff that I, I the hangovers were the worst out of everything you do that is it and when you get older they don't get easier to deal with <laughs> I found that the last time I went out the, the last time I got properly drunk was um, the year that I went to Beermageddon which was the like this little metal festival me and Kerry we had, we had our second wedding there like within four days of us getting married we had a second wedding so we were greedy um and the, the the last time there was Kerry was pregnant so she wasn't going to the festival it was the last time I went out on my own and I got drunk and I woke up the next day and I went I can't deal with this anymore my head was smashed like it was like trying to rip itself apart and it was at that point I knew I was just like I'm never doing this again that that was the point of no return that was it and since then, I have I've never got drunk. I actually, I the only times I drink now, is if I go out to a meal with my parents and stuff, and I have a beer with a meal, or if I go to like we, I mean, we still go to Everspoons because the kids, you know, it's an easy place to take children, and you can just deal with it, and it's fine. So we go there, and they do burger and a beer meal, and that's what I have. I have a burger and a beer, and that's it. And I'm like, okay, I'm fine. I don't need to sit here and drink alcohol anymore. The amount of times I I've I would do that New Year's parties and stuff. Yeah, just I'd get absolutely blindsided drunk. But that was the thing. That was just the way I did things. When I had no responsibilities and nothing else, it was just me. All I had to do was focus on basically getting home and sleeping. And that was it. When you start having kids, like for me, my mentality changed when we started like having kids because it was like, I, I, don't, I can't do that to them anymore. Because what are they going to see in me? They're going to see that, oh yeah, their dad gets drunk, blindsidedly drunk every time. No, I don't, I don't want that. So I actually became quite grown up. I mean, I'm still a child in my head. But when it comes to like, the attitude that I show them, I don't want to get, I don't want to do that in front of them. Because that's a really bad thing to show them. So yeah, I stopped. Just basically, completely. I, when, when we do go out, and it, like, alone goes, Daddy, what are you having? It's like, beer. And it'll just be one. If we tried to get a drink a drunk at our old age, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, everything just aches and hurts, and you don't know where the pain's coming from. <laughs> it's disgusting, but yeah, that's just how it is. So yeah, I can't do it anymore. I've basically trained it out of my head. Right, let's just turn these on, because we're going to make a mess now. I'm going to turn these on earn a ton and then in the next stream which will be like next Friday we should be able to finish all these off so they're all on that's all on that's all good that's all fine that's one that's on as well and I don't really care about the leaky belts because we're on the bottom of the main rock it's fine <laughs> my mum is an alcoholic and it's caused it not yeah I, I if you if you see alcoholics normally it's a good sort of like warning to how things shouldn't be there was a guy that I, where I used to live. He was um, his dad was quite well off, so when his dad died, he inherited his entire fortune, sort of thing. And this guy never had a job for as long as I knew he was alive. And all he did every day, he went to the pub and got blindly drunk every single day. And it, it, his the original name for him was oh look, it's Drunk Steve. That was how everybody knew him because he was just paralytic most of the time. I couldn't live like that. But he would do like he would do the the pub crawl of where I used to live. Um where I used to live, we used to have uh seven pubs on the high street. Um there's only like one there now. Because pubs and stuff don't exist really much anymore in small towns because there's not enough people to keep them going. But he would start at one end of town and just work his way through all day. He'd have he'd have like breakfast at home or lunch or whatever, but lunch he would have in a pub. He would have dinner in a pub, and then he would walk home, drunk, every day. Did you use the thing with the if and don't? <sighs> nope, I didn't use the I didn't use the lava tank. I rolled it all. But yeah, that's that's how I used to live my life. So when people just say, "Oh, do you drink now?" I said, "No, I just don't. 
I can't do it to my kids, I can't do it to Kerry, and I just don't want to. I think I would just regret it a lot more now, because I know what it will do to me. It just wasn't a good time. Well, I mean, it was a, it was a brilliant time back then, but it wouldn't be a good time now. Right, let's go and watch Lagfest 2023. 2024, sorry. Lagfest! Oh, you mother. Uh, turn the drill off quick. Right. Uh, right. I need a corner. I forgot to connect my belts to the belt. So that didn't go too well. Yay, it's working now. Cool. Now we'll just turn it all back on. Lag first! Too many better things to spend money on? I'm, no, I don't really get it. Did you turn the drills on? I turned the drills on. I just forgot to reconnect the belt. I bid. I did put a, a... Did I put one in there? No, I didn't. That's just running on, like... How much is this worth, quick? 514. That'll keep it going for a while. Ta, very much for the follow. Polka dot kitty cat. Most appreciate it. Thank you very much for being here. Kevin T, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. Wesley, what's up? Nothing much, man. Nothing much. We're just powering up, man. We're going for Lagfest. Lagfest. And your final reminder of the night. If you, if you do enjoy this stream or all the stuff I've covered on this channel over the years... Hit the like, subscribe, notification button below for all other updates. And don't forget, if you want to become a member, you can for just 99 cents a month on YouTube. You can become a member and support the channel, and it's all good. And it'll be fine. And I'll put this into perspective. If I ever get to a point where I get 10,000 members on my channel at 99p a membership, I will stop playing adverts on my stream. Like the short by Ryan Harvey, how he gets his hurt versus getting hurt as an adult. Yeah. Have you seen Viva La Dirt League skit on, like, get, uh, when you hit 30 and everything cracks? Yep. I need to see Line of Oars conveyor belts and you do not disappoint. Uh, well, it's not fully done yet. I've got a lot more to do. And right at this moment in time, I'm probably still running around, like, 50-odd FPS. So, we're all good. Gifted five memberships. A boom. Peaceful chaos. Thank you very much, buddy. Much appreciated. But I've always said, if I if I was able, to, if if people if people paid for like the ninety nine p membership, and I got to a certain point where it became like an actual income, I wouldn't run adverts because you guys would be the reason why this channel would work. So I'd never have to run adverts because of the help you guys would provide. I have to run adverts because it's the only way those bloody gaming channels make money. There we go. See, that is... How many am I going to run? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I put ten down here just by, like, a miracle of a mistake? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, bums. Okay, eleven. So, eleven, twenty-two, thirty-three... Okay, well, hundreds gonna be up there somewhere. That's what I aim for. Them first, first target is get a hundred large drills. Vanessa Stamps, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Is that your chat on the screen? That is my chat on the screen. Basically, it's the chat from YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Yes, because I'm multi-streaming. If you're on Twitch, guess what? You're on YouTube as well. Like, that's where you... Yeah. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> it's all good. Can I make that bigger? Give me a second. 
Give me a sec. Yeah, there we go. I can read it all better now. But that's, that's thumping currency out now. As long as we don't have that problem we just had with the iron, we'll be okay. Let me just pop this over here. It's all spare stuff. I don't need it. Thank you very much for following on Twitch. Oh, boom. DK, is it D DXXXXX? Doing good? Good, 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 good. I hope you're doing well. That means I can stream you from my TV when I go to bed in five minutes. You can do, if I'm still here. What, five yeah, well, it's half past nine. I've got like an hour left. Because on Sundays I come off around half ten. It gives my brain enough time to like decompress for like next week. When my kids wake me up at stupid o'clock in the morning. How long did the setup take to build? Go through all the rest of my streams on Twitter, on YouTube. Um, basically, you'll see it as progression. I think I've done about... I want to guess about 30 hours into this one. Like, five hours stints of time. We were doing a couple of streams a week since release. And then like, I do little things on the side sort of thing. Basically, when I'm not helping on Hydra, I'm not playing Hydra. And then I'm, I'm going to be starting to do other things now because I'm basically at the end. Like, when it comes to the setup and stuff, this is what I'm going to be doing in my streams. Yes. When it comes to my videos, like, I now have to find something else to do because I'm done with everything I can help people with. Yeah. It's been a good little journey, though. Huh? I've enjoyed Volcalidus. I know people are like, I know there have been like some people who just don't like it because it's like, oh, we're into the DLC. But it's more, it's more hydrogen here. It's good for me. Ever tried making a nice, like, cube or bridge or something with ore and gems? Not really. No. Never really bothered. I know um, RCE did. And he, made, he was making bridges and stuff. Admittedly, he wasn't doing it like this. He was spawning the items in to fall into, like, a mould. And then just took the bits off. Because that was how he did it. I did try to make the gold pit once. Well, I've actually tried it twice. Rip girl, thank you very much. A boom to you, sir. Most appreciate it. Thank you very much for subscribing. Oh, you subscribed for one month. You've been here. <laughs> Sorry, dude. wonder if I can get my activity feed to do both. Probably not. Let's have a look. Nah. You got a chunk stuck in the corner again? Probably. There's probably a few chunks in corners. Up. See, there's one. <coughs> Not one there. Not one there. Nope, nothing there from right now. We are blitzing. We're up to 193,700 and something, like, hardstone. When it gets to 999999, I'll make a video of, like, how much that's worth. <laughs> but this is the thing. I've done, I've done enough of the missions to have tokens. Like, to the point, I've got this. And I've got 4,000 left over. I've got nothing else to spend my tokens on. Right, apart from if I want an ig if I want to build an igloo. So a lot of the stuff I'm going to do now is mainly just building out the factory, which is down there. I'm going to put in like 100 drills there and I'll be fine. And I want to turn this into a massive scaffold so it's like more just normal building. Like actual building building stuff. So 
that's what I will be doing. Just at the moment, I'm just putting drills out. Just getting to a point where my system can't load it anymore, and then I know how much it can cut off with. Where's the... Oh, ah. Oh, oh. Before that causes a problem again, yeah. There's actually a couple there stuck. See, that's how it starts. Huh? You literally just saw that's how it all starts building up. It starts having problems. So, yeah. Road to one billion tokens. Do you know how long it took to get that? That was only a hundred thousand. Right, road to a billion dollars, maybe. I'm at 494,000, but that's because I bought stuff. But I'm not getting a billion tokens. Do you, oh, how many missions would you have to do to get a billion tokens? That's painful. Ugh. That's a really, that, that, that sounds like torture. Actually, that would be torture. Oh, Claude, do you want your one millionth ring? How many have you got now? Oh, I've got enough to own, like, the entire world, but it's fine. I could go for a billion coins, yeah. I think it's possible. I think the cap is two billion before it goes into, like, minus figures, because it can't cope. Would you consider it if you got one million subs? What, to get one billion coins? No. One billion tokens? No. That sounds horrible. It's fine. It's only molten gold. Two hundred and fifty-seven. It's worth five million quid. Five million one hundred and fifty-three thousand three hundred and forty-eight dot hydro coin. That's not bad. So that's worth five million. How much is my diamond worth? Because I've never, I haven't cashed my diamond in. My diamond's only worth £546,000. Oh, man. It's only worth half a mil. How much is my next worth? I've cut this up a few times for missions. 198000 What a jip, man. It's a rare element. Yeah, it's also... You don't get a lot of it... What was the most amount of tokens I got in one mission? 2,700. Enough to buy a nuke. Which I thought was pretty apt. If you build a house, it would be cool. Uh, if you could hang axes and swords made on... Yeah, well, actually, that would be pretty cool. Like, have a little display case. So the idea for this, when I eventually get around to sort of finishing it, is I want to put, a, like, a roof over the top of it and have my house on top. So I actually have, like, a house on top of the actual... So it looks like a massive office sort of thing. Um, and then I want to put struts all down the sides, so I need to block it off properly. But the idea is to put struts and stuff to make it look like an actual scaffold. That would be something I would do. <laughs> I would have to do 370,000 missions to make a $1 billion token. Oh, that's disgusting. I had enough trouble doing a hundred thousand tokens. I am not doing that. That's that's a lot of time. <sighs> what can you do with an extra hand tool? Is there a recycling centre, or do you have to blow them up with TNT to get the scrap? Hand tool? What you mean the um the hand thingy? This uh, this one. You take it to the scrapper. Yeah. I'm just, I, I'm using them as museum pieces. They're like, this is what we used before we got the big thing. Yeah, you take them to the scrapper. You can't sell them. 
and it sucks. Seems to be iron that gets stuck quite a lot. <laughs> I wonder how much the iron's worth, because we get a bit more iron than we do with gold. Like, a lot more. I think it's 53% iron. So that's worth 3 million. Can you show the cutting setup? Yeah, there it is. Am I going to review the new Gold Sim DLC? Um, I wasn't going to, no. I haven't played it. I bought the DLC. I haven't played with it. Mainly because I've been doing this. Um... Maybe I should. The thing is, is like what what I understand now is that when it comes down to like hog panning in that game now, it's a lot easier because you don't have to worry about actual hog panning. You can use the hog, but you can use the mini, um, the mini, the mini roller in the hog pan area with the mini digger, which means you can dig out the hog pan faster because you're not using a spade; you're using a dr uh, a digger. So that's pretty cool. But I haven't actually played with them. I bought it, but I haven't done anything. Five thousand. On my next, uh, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna leave this running for a while. We'll just be alright. I'm just more paranoid. I'm gonna have a problem, and that problem is gonna be iron. Look at the lava, it's beautiful from up here. There you go, I think. How many tool bags we've got left? Enough. How was the gameplay without doing anything? It's fantastic. There we are. I think I'm... It's been fun. So yeah, if there's anything else anybody needs to ask me, it's all good, I'm still here. But I think... I mean, I'm in that sort of phase at the moment where I can't really do as much as I want to do because I, I need to be more drawers, but I can't because I haven't got enough stuff. Did you ever retrieve the ring? No, it's, it's gone. It's in the rock and it will never come out. Oh no, actually we could magnet, we could see if the magnet works. Give me a sec. You know what, we'll try that now. I'm going to see if I can get the ring back. Where's my magnet? If I can get it, it's all good. If it's still there, that is. It should be, because it's literally just in the scenery. Unless it was disappeared. Is that the water? Is that water? No, it's not water, it's ice. Bloody lava track. Hey, I can go across lava, but I can't go across boards. Useless. You're asking me to do the impossible. I, don't, I can't go across wooden boards. I can go across like volcanoes and up the side of like plots of land. 
I may be wrong, but I thought I saw a gold nugget stuff. Yeah, you probably, yeah, I don't know, there probably is. When I come back, it's going to be a hell. But I need to see if I can get the ring out of the rock. Basically, I screwed up a little while ago. I, was, I made a ring for somebody, and it was like, I couldn't remember the exact amount, so I just put in the amount I thought it was. Turns out it was wrong. And then he threw the he threw the ring in that rock. So I'm basically here today to see if we can get it out. Give me this and there I'll it is. Talking. See, I wasn't lying. Absolute turd burglar. Just because I made the emerald like one less than what it should have been, he threw it in the rock. Twonk. Absolute twonk. How you doing, Charlie? What is going on, buddy? Hope you're doing well, sir. But yeah, I'm sort of just like, apart from like just expanding the game, like on the game now, I'm basically done with it. I've completed the game again. I've completed Hydraneer. I've completed all the achievements. I've completed everything I can do. Now it's just make it bigger to a point where I can't run the build anymore. All fun and games until someone gets hurt. Brum, 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 brum. There we go. Lovely. Happen again. Astroneer or Scrap Mechanic? Um, I've never played. I played Ast Astroneer for about 10 minutes and went, this is a bit difficult. And then Scrap Mechanic, I went, I can't be bothered. Someone's bringing in serious cash. Yeah, man, this is, the setup's pulling money now. It's all good. Basically, I've just got nothing else to do in the game now, mate. I'm phys I, 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 I'll show you this. I'm physically just done with it. But. I want to keep building. <laughs> Look, uh, here you go. Where's my display? There it is. All of the achievements. 100% again. I'm done. I still find this funny. Throw a snowball at the king. 0.0% apparently. Like nobody has done that achievement. We're in like we're below the, we're below the one point on that one. That's well, that's one of the secret achievements, by the way. Go and throw a snowball at the king. Also, go and throw the snowballs out at some other people. It's flipping hilarious. Thank you very much for subscribing. Still don't understand why it's not updating fast enough. I think we're on the Little Mermaid now. There you go. Oh, look, iron. Yeah, see? Sometimes it just doesn't work. I think I've got a stone stuck. It happens all the time, mate. Huh? 
There's an actual st hard stone was stuck as well. Yeah. So you become a babysitter of your conveyor belts. It's like, yay, things are getting stuck again. Yeah, when it gets to nine 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 nine, I will. I'll do a video. I'm not sure how long it's going to take though, because that's taken what about an hour to do about eighty thousand hardstone, which isn't bad. And then what I want to do is <laughs> like I want to max. I want to. I want to get a hundred drills down there and see what it does to my system. If it's like no, we can't cope with this, then I'll just turn them off. And I'll just turn it off to a point that I can still run the game and it works, but then obviously we may have a few issues like lo loading things. But I think at the moment, what, we're at 11, no, this, yeah, it's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 drills, plus the ones up the side. I think there's 19 on there as well. So we're running, oh, it's 19, 8 and 8 is 16, 16, carry the one, 36 drills in all. So it's not bad. But it's a lot less than what we would do on like on ba base game. And base game would be like a hundred drills. That sort of thing. So yeah. <sighs> Even a thousand is like that's a lot. Well the thing is I don't it don't, it's not the whole fact it's getting stuck on a lower level, it's the fact it's just getting stuck on the edge. That's the more annoying thing. It's like, by the way, I'm just going to get stuck. Just randomly. Okay, cool. Why? Don't know. Just going to do it. How far do you need to place a pressure tank again? Um, I actually don't know. Do you want to know the, the crappy thing is? I haven't even boosted my... I haven't even boosted my pipe. I haven't boosted the pipe. I don't even... Like, when it comes to the pressure tanks, I haven't even cared about them. Because I'm just running what I can, and I don't really, I'm not worried about how like optimization anymore. So that's where my that's where my pressure tank is, and that does all of that. So let's say I don't know what it was, 172 or whatever it is. So that's only losing like two each time. I've got a pressure tank here, and that's running all these, and then this pressure tank here will run all of those. And then I'll run another one at the end of there. The thing is, because I've done all that testing with like how fast can drills do, how fast can you do this, I don't need to do that anymore. I've got to a point where it's just there'd be no point in even trying to like give it another test. Oh, that's because they fell and they stacked. That's the merger that does that. I'll show you. See, they're basically stacking up on top of themselves when they go over the merger, so they'll stack up, and then that's how they end up on the top stacked. Because they basically because they don't have collision on the belt anymore at all. That's why they don't roll. That's why they don't do nothing. When they used to roll, that used to cause a lot of lag. So that's why they look like they're stacking up because that's just how it is. Wondering what the phys uh, physics calls the link to, uh, as they could be dropping a physics cal when it changes direction. I don't know, maybe. I actually don't know. That would just be something that you would have to go and have a chat with Max about. Max knows how what he coded the game to be like. But if you wanted to run this optimized without everything else, the best thing you do is get one like get the logic killer that just grinds everything up, and then just run everything into that, and then just not worry about the cost. Maybe next time you do a setup, put a belt between the merger 
and the main belt. I don't think it's that either. So what I think the problem is, is if you look at some of the ores, they're sunk into the conveyor belt. And some of them aren't. So when they're sunk into the conveyor belt, I think they may be interacting with the actual edge of the belt. So the actual ore is getting locked at the front and it just can't move forward. I think that's what's happening. That's all I can really suggest because that's just my observation. But I think that's what it is. I think it's literally just because some of the ores are sunk into the belt. And it, there it is. It's happened. Right there. See, right, that one there is just in the belt. So I think it might be cause that might be part of the problem. Oops. Could be having a little bit of a problem here, guys. <laughs> I can't beat the machine. No! <laughs> oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Where's my magnet? Where's my magnet? <sighs> yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I disconnected the pipe real clear. That's the best way. Not the most intelligent thing you can ever do. <laughs> yeah, that that was just because I pulled the pipe and it stopped working. For just that split second, that's what happens. So that's what I mean. When you're running at this sort of like... When you're running at this sort of like capacity, one tiny thing can just be a really bad day. So sometimes it's not worth go oh for flip's sake, I've done it again. I need to start hammering things down. Thankfully not as bad as the iron debacle we had earlier. So that's okay. Thank you very much for subscribing. <sighs> nah, we live like we we like to live dangerously on this channel. <laughs> clear all random ore. Clear all. There we go. And now... Okay. So there we go. It is time. Right, let's just weigh up the Clautium and the Core Stone and see what we got. Because I will have to do a trip over and get some more drills. So we've got 4,900 cores of Clautium. It's not bad. Cut more drills. 6,000 core stone. There we go. So that's going to be my next trip to the big land, which I'm going to need my hauler for that, which is up there. I need the pan off the back. Well, I've got two pans. Oh, yeah, one's for... Um, yep, I got gotcha. you. Don't worry. Nah, we're okay. Hmm. 
Now we do things stupid on this channel. To start with, I just carry on doing what I'm doing until it gets really bad. And then I work out where's the best place to do things. So the idea, first off, is to try and get this up to 100 drills, right? And then, depending on the lag and so on and so forth, so it would be a case of, okay, cool, so the lag is too much, so what I could do is, off of there, I can put my harvester over there, and then I can build a, um, an auto, auto not automated, but a, a logic smelter setup, so it basically pick it all up, and then I could just pull the lever, and the bars just come up here, and then we're good. That's, that's, that would be like the next evolution of like, if things start fucking up up here, that's what we do down there. But that's what I did in that's what I did in Bastion. So if you ever go back and see my older videos, I did um, pit stops. So each tier had its own sorting area. So tier one, tier two, tier three, they all had their own sorting se sections. Apart from gems, gems I just let loose all the way up to the top of the convert. Actually, I'll show you that setup now. So let me just save and complete. I'll go into my old setup and I'll show you how I had it all working. And it basically it got to a point where I was testing how much it would like, and when it got to a point of lagging that's where I would build like the next thing turns out every tier needs its own like smelting area and then that smelting area becomes a pit stop for your ores and then you pull a lever at the top and it all just comes up in bars and it just circulates and it's all good so this was my main original setup so each one of the logic smelters are all attached to just their own lever so I push this one and a bar comes out of there um, that is tier one that is tier two and that is tier three each one of those is connected to a water valve that signals each tier and then this one is the one that attaches to all of the smelters so after i'd finished running my machines for like two seconds before the leg kicked up that one button is connected to all of these and all of these feed into a logic smelter which is just for basic ore so all of this is like gold, silver, well, gold, iron, clarium, and so on and so forth. All gems would literally come through here and bypass into here. Because it's filtering dirt and not ores, this would filter all the or the dirt into a sm into the harvester and just sort itself out. And because it's dirt and not gems, the gems just find their way to the top. And they go through the grinder up there. And I did this for every tier. So this is tier two, same setup, same everything. So everything comes up here, every ore comes off of here and it goes into the logic smelters and then like gems just come off here and fly around and we're all good here. And then it all, it all happened down here as well, tier three. Did the same here. So yeah, that, that's, that's, how I, that's how I basically sorted out the lag problem I had. But the one problem you have is when you've got so many of these running, and this is where it got painful, was having these running, each one of these produces one piece of dirt every second. So when you're running 48, every four, every second you're running 48 pieces of dirt. The game can normally... I start feeling lag at about 300 to 400 pieces of dirt every second. So when it starts getting to that point, that's when I know how much I can run. This maxes that out in 10 seconds. So as soon as 10 seconds is up, my computer's like, help, fire, going to die. That's what that that's what tier three is like. And it's why if you're going to play Hydraneer and you've got a lesser computer, anything less than like a I don't know, like a, a 2060 at least. If you haven't got an 8 gig card, I mean you can get 1080s and 1660s and stuff with 8 gig cards. But if you haven't got an 8 gig card, you will struggle. And that's the problem. The, the, the tier 3 drills are a problem. So when it comes to like the lava drills we've got and the like the heavies, they're not as bad as that, which I'm okay with. So chances are I can probably run quite a lot before I start feeling a lot of lag. The main issue I'm now having is that things are getting stuck to the conveyor belt. So with things getting stuck to the conveyor belt, that's where my problems are. Because the problem I had yesterday was when I was feeding into the harvester and I got something stuck at the top of the like the verticals and it clumped up. And it was like, okay, cool, so I can't run this anymore. I need to change the way it's all laid out. And with the ore getting stuck to the side of the, the actual conveyor belt, which is really bad, 
it's causing a problem here as well. So I'm getting ore stuck literally on the edge. Right here, right here. And it is mainly happening to just golden, um, mainly just golden iron. A little bit on the hard stone, but it's almost like it's got to a point where it will just freeze up occasionally. And then the problem is that once you've got one piece stuck there, it'll happen again because it'll be the same sort of layout. So it's going to get stuck in that same place. And then you've got two bits stuck there. So I, th I can't remember about like an, a couple, about an hour into this stream, I had like a massive ball of iron here and it was causing lag. And I didn't know where it was because I was checking the main belts. I didn't check here and all of a sudden there's this, this ball of iron. I'm like, damn. And we exploded it and it was fun. But it did turn it into a bit of a slideshow, and it's like that's the problem. If you're going to run, if you're going to run a lot of drills, you become a babysitter to your conveyor belts because you then have to make sure they're not clogging up. And if this is a continued problem, like for when you get into like the bigger builds and you're producing more and more ore, then it doesn't matter where your setup is, that problem is still going to persist because it's something to do with the actual belt itself and not your build. So you're not responsible for it. It's now part of the game's problem. So if you go big and you get that problem where your ore is starting to stick to the side of your conveyor belts before it goes into a smelter, report it. Because if you don't, if you can report it, the more people like report it, Max can then go, okay, there's the problem. It's probably, like I said, I think what it is, is a bit of ore is basically on a different cycle. It's getting stuck on the conveyor belt where it's like jammed into the conveyor belt a bit and it can't. It can't follow the belt's line, so it's getting stuck on the corner. So it's just like, can't move, can't move. And then another one does it, and another one does it, and then it's, and then it's going to cause a problem. So, yeah, I, I would say if you are going to have, if you do have that problem, if you're playing Hydroneer and you start going into a bigger build and you have that problem, please report it to the Hydroneer Discord. Not my Discord, Hydroneer's Discord. Because then it becomes a problem for everybody and not just you. That would be my advice. So yeah, that was it's a very similar problem to what we've had before, but I've never seen apart from Volcilidus, I've never seen that issue before. So it's something that's happened in the DLC and not in the base game. As I said, I've never had it in base game. I mean, I don't know if anybody else has. So yeah, you just have to you have to be a bit more aware. So I will continue to I will continue to like grow the the drills bigger. And if the problem persists, I will keep reporting it and go for now. I think it's the same for everybody. To me, it sounds like it. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. So, the idea of moving my harvester down to the bottom and just trying to cut out the belt lag, I don't think is the problem. But, it is something I can consider moving forward if that problem gets fixed and then I start having lag issues. I want to see how much I can run first before because the tests I've done on this whilst I was in like experimental when I was experimental and beta I ran a um, basically a loop a little bit bigger than this so I had like let's say it's like five by five a five by two so if you can imagine five by two circle that just goes round and round I was firing a harvester straight onto that build without all the gems going anywhere and it piled up like it, 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 it got laggy to a point that you couldn't see a gap between any ore. It was just, it was just a, a circled light by the end of it because of the shard bar, shards in it. And then I turned it off and it did nothing. I was like, okay, cool. Where's my magnet? And I put the magnet down and I exploded it. It filled up my sorting area halfway of ore. Like, if you can imagine all of this was up to, like, where you see the base of the belts, all of that was ore. And it just exploded. And it was just like, that was cool. But I saw how much I could actually run without having a problem. So, yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm looking for. I'm actually looking forward to going bigger. I'm looking forward to chucking in about 100 drills and seeing where we end up. And that's that's the goal for now. Hit 100, see how the game runs, and see what happens when it comes to lag, bits of problems, and different things. I haven't. I, I own the DLC. Haven't gone yet. My shards stack up on the filter all the time. Shards, I haven't really seen much of a problem with shards. Like, I, again, I've not had the problem with shards. Mainly just gold, iron, and now hardstone. So, the shards, I don't it may, I don't know. There's, they used to be a problem with shards. They used to get stuck in the belt a lot. They used to get stuck, like, here, but if you dug one in halfway in, occasionally that would screw up. 
so yeah it's all it's all just one big experiment so for the next few days i've got other things to do um on wednesday i don't think i'm doing anything on wednesday if i'm not doing anything on wednesday i might come back and stream this for a couple hours during the day and then just build out the build a bit more and we'll go from there but yeah i think um yeah i think i'm done so guys if you have enjoyed this stream hit the like excuse me hit the like subscribe notification button below for all other updates i will be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else to do on this channel until then thank you very much for entertaining thank you very much for like keeping me sane all this time and uh, have a great rest of your weekend enjoy yourselves and uh you know it's gonna be an okay week don't worry you'll get through this until then peace out have fun enjoy everything you guys do and have a great rest of your day a boom fist bump to you